mouse because my mouse keeps dying on me. You better get quick. I uh, give me twenty. Give it twenty minutes to twenty seconds to start. I mean. Mhm. Mm and let me go back to showing this. So everybody looking at this. Yeah. Hold on, I'm gonna do my outro. I mean, my intro is Xavier. Give me a minute. Hello, my children. Xidiosang.exe is here to bring you guys our 7k live stream. So, welcome. And with me today, I have, of course, a certain amount of guests, which I will be introducing in just a minute. But for now, whoa. You better get quick. Uh, get me. There we go. Um, so, starting off with Nova. Hey, nice to meet you. Next, I'm introducing Makoto Yuki. Hello. Uh, next is Shadow Flip from Shadow Flip Productions. Yo, what's up, everyone? This is Shadow Flip Productions. Next is Alucard. The Bird of Hermes here. Alucard Helsing here. What's up? Briar is being introduced now. Hi. Crystal, who plays a couple of characters on my channel. Hi. Gabby is here with us today. Cat has come to join us. Uh, let's see. Are you talking to? Some people are busy. <laughs> but I can't talk yet. It's all right. Emma, Emily, Emily, aka Lucy the Speedhog, has joined us today. Yellow. And I believe that's everybody, right? One, two, three. Yeah, I believe that's everybody. <laughs> but yeah. Once again, wait, what? I don't want to get in trouble. Oh, okay. Don't worry about that. Anyways, um. <clears throat> so, go ahead and ready your questions. I am going to talk about a few things. Once again, everybody, I would like to thank all of you guys has been here since the start and for all those who have come recently for joining me on this journey and getting me to 7k subscribers <laughs> i love that juxtaposition of the, of the filter off <laughs> <laughs> nice. okay 10 out of 10 that's nice hmm. yeah all right that reminds me hang on a second Oh. So, ready your questions in the chat. Uh, yeah, hang yeah, on. So, hang throw on. the questions. Yeah, hang on. I'm 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 uh I'm gonna watch the stream. I'm sorry. I gotta make uh, sure to put your questions. I saw. I might as well actually talk about like, some of the guys who have actually come with me. So, starting off with Shadow Flare. Shadow Flare has been playing. Why the fuck am I going first? The fuck? Because I want to. <laughs> anyway. You motherfucker. Fuck <laughs> 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 it. This is the norm, people. Get used to it. Yeah. Uh, but, anyways, starting off with Shadow, he plays Dream Sonic on my channel, which is his own created character, which, of yes, course. My, yes, my, my, my AU Sonic that I um, originally kept private for a while, but I decided to bring into the parody version and stuff because I like to show off uh, my creations to. At least, you know, get my uh, creative work out there. Mm-hmm. Also, he's going to be... Vo he voices a lot of other characters with me, starting off with, of course, Beerus, which... that That's still one of my favorite <laughs> episodes we did. Yeah. Though, of course, my favorite is, mm -hmm. is a certain other video. Which we need to actually get out. Um... <laughs> no, it, it, no, it's one that's already out. Oh, which one? The Discord video. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, he did play yeah, the Discord as well. Chaos and Discomedy. 
<laughs> Which we need to get another one back, but it's like I'm thinking of like having Discord and Xavier like troll Bill Cipher and like other characters from MMP as well. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Hey, yeah. what's up, everyone? What did you say, Nova? No, I look in the chat from the YouTube. Oh, okay. Hang up. He's also going to be actually doing a. He's going to actually be doing provision in one of the upcoming arts for me as well. Yeah, we're, but, yeah, we're still working on because this one's kind of a, a, a one of the big ones. Yeah, it's very important that this art actually comes out. Well, actually, no, he's playing provision twice. One is a very big arc that we have to that we are very working on, and one is a arc that I've showed tidbits here now and then, especially with Exidia and um, Rosie Amy.exe from like the past so yeah that one's a big one it's coming up hmm. interesting right also if you caught well for some of you who um seen the notification yesterday alucard was here he was here joining me during the uh that live stream we had last night, which that was a lot of fun. Where? Yeah. Sorry, uh, go ahead. No, just said where. Whoa! What the Whoa! <laughs> that, that was ironic. Yeah, right. <laughs> Although so far, one of the people, oh, oh, so, so far one of the things that um uh, you got uh, so was mostly um. Hey, Venoms. Was mostly being asked of what do you do to prank others. What do I do to prank others? Yeah, which I which uh I don't think we do pranks much when it comes to your channel. Um now we haven't done any pranks yet. Although I do wanna actually start doing those as more shorts because those actually be a lot of fun. I am thinking I have like a lot of short ideas that I wanna execute at some point. So I look forward to yeah, those. Yeah, hold on guys, hold on. Go ahead. Hang yeah, someone on. Did Someone on YouTube did tell the the question for someone. Okay. What was the question? Just look on the chat. Hang on, because I'm also trying to get uh, somebody in here. Give me a minute. If it's your let me there. Let me there. <laughs> okay, so this is oh, Looney, um, wait a minute. Yeah, Looney's been, Looney's been asking to come in, though. Yeah, I know Looney's been asking to come in. I'm trying to get... uh. Venomous in as well. You need to wait and be patient, Looney, and don't start when you come in here. Please don't go crazy, dude. Hi, Venom. Yeah, I think you can get in now, Venomous. If you're yeah, watching this, Venomous, you can get in now. Get in. We waiting you. And a question has been asked for one of the characters rather than us. <laughs> uh, which one? For execution. Ooh. Uh, read it for me. About, about boyfriend and girlfriend from F from F and F. No, I said read it. Oh, it's basically just saying uh, question for execution. Have you ever met boyfriend and girlfriend? Um, oh, from Final Fantasy Funkies? The fuck? They're not from Final Fantasy Funkies. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I have not met any of them yet because I've been a little bit busy with the fact that uh, Yukiko's pregnant. Anyways, Wait, what? <clears throat> there's your answer to you that. Do we ever mention the condition of this stream yet or no? The conditions? The fact that we're, that we're not getting character? <laughs> uh, they can ask character questions if they want. It's fine. It's oh, fine okay. for a little skits. Okay, I'll ask you uh, what you what you were uh, were not allowing. No, nah, that's fine. Also, Ethan, I saw what you said, dude. Really? <laughs> Hello. Yep. There he is. There he is. But I feel a little sick, but yeah, but I'm fine. Introducing, of course, Venomous, who plays Hog, and who will be on my channel relatively soon. Greetings! Damn it. 
damn it, I got nervous. <laughs> <laughs> the, fuck, the fuck was that question? <laughs> there is a question for Gabby, but she's mute right now, so I don't think she can answer at the moment. Wait, Gabby, yeah. are you here still? <laughs> nah. You don't have a micro off. Cause she... Okay, Christian, forget me. Do you have a fan to see your best friend again? <laughs> That's cool. Oh, okay, I'm coming. Um, okay, I'll be forward to talk to you. Oh, I'm asking you a question. Like, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll get out of this. And I'll, and I'll not talk to you, but the question is... Uh, Lily, you can get in, just do not make a too much racket. <laughs> uh, let's see, who do I want to talk about next? Uh, I talked about Elder. Um, Briar here, as you guys know, Briar is, well, her own character on my channel. She also plays Lynetta, who still has to come back um, re um, very fairly soon once Xavier settles all the issues with, well, zero. Then. You make it sound like I'm a stalker, really? <laughs> if you guys don't mm -hmm. remember, Lynetta is the female Cthulhu that came from the Sucker for Love series, which, funny enough, Jared is the one that introduced me to that series, so. You can thank Shadow for that. You're welcome. Yep. yep. Also, if you guys want to, you can guys. Attacare can also call me Ayla if you want to. You make just to be funny. Ah. <laughs> oh my god, Cat said, oh, tentacle mom. <laughs> also, so you have like three questions at once. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Well, Hello. Yeah. One uh, of them is about um, who is the oldest EXE in, in the crew of the multiverse. <laughs> Or uh, it says universe, but I think they meant to. Uh, I think they meant to refer to multiverse. <laughs> um, Exidia is technically the eldest, along with All Father, since those two are ageless entities that have always existed. That are all the other one, the other one, those were uh, Silver Exidia, which is about how he, how he feels being married to God's plays. <laughs> uh, oh, not God is please, no. Uh, how does he feel being married? Well, I think the video that they had recently will tell you how he feels about it. And the other one is for Xavier. Um, if um, he and Sil Silver Xavier are ever going to separate or just kind of stay in one body, even though they separated a while ago. Yeah, they separated a while ago. They could. They're still technically like connected and they could still like merge again into one being but yeah they've been separate for a while because of what's going on all right now another one for execution again being who do you think would win in a hero team fight team sonic or team dark it, that's a that, that's a toss up in the air depending on what is happening during the fight yeah but that's a question for execution oh uh let me see well Mmm. Oh my god. Cap said, well, Sonic has plot armor, so... <laughs> uh, oh yeah. Hey, Xavier. Yes? Oh, fuck hey. <laughs> Hold on, you guys. Yeah, Movie Sonic say, hey, hello, congratulations for 7k. And oh, yo, Movie. Out. Yep, he's on, he's on. Oh shoot, I thought he was at school right now. Yeah, he say, my real friend say hi to. Nice to, I mean, thank you, buddy. Although I thought you were at school, otherwise I would have invited you. But today's Thursday, so. Uh. There's also a question for Briar, actually. Oh, wait, first let me answer the whole execution thing. Yeah. Sorry, I can't answer this at this time. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> everyone. Hey, Hi, everyone. Hello. 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 Anyways, uh, the question for Brian Sorry. is, uh, do you like being spoiled by your adoptive father? <laughs> uh, 
I mean, Brad does kind of think of me as like a baby girl. It's just depends. She just fussy I'm about little... it. I just, I love the attention, but sometimes it's a little too much. I don't, okay, it is not too much because it only happens when we're like in the same vicinity. I normally allow you to do whatever you want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's true. I about like the whole uh, thing in the chat, like the whole Levy and thing. I always want to use that meme. Mm hmm. Yeah, also, sorry if I was like a little <laughs> impatient. I just sometimes feel nervous. Doesn't feel like I feel left out sometimes okay. of things. Okay. I just have this anxiety thing that, like, I see everyone having fun and stuff, and I feel left out. That's a thing I always have. That's anxiety I have. That's fine. I always feel less that. Uh, calm down. What if I don't? Calm down. Calm down. You don't need to go into a super explanation. Yeah, that's why I always wanted to be a part of something. Be a part right. of something because okay. I was never yeah. had friends growing up. It's all right. Yeah, there's a question. There's a question for Zach, but he's not here at the moment. Yeah, I was gonna say Jesus is not here, so he can't answer any questions for his character Zach or anything. Yeah, but it's kind of funny that they that 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 It's kind of funny that they immediately thought he was gonna be here. But there is a question for Jesus here. Yeah. All right. Are you going to ever meet Majin Sonic? Well, we did in one stream, although technically Exidia and Majin do know each other. He's part of Speedy Blue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know who he's talking about. Um, we did in the stream, but they did. Those two characters did meet in the stream, and they do know each other in canon. It's just at some point, me and Dark Wars are gonna have to actually talk about it. Oh, yeah, yeah, because because right because right now our, schedu little... our schedules are kind of fucked. So me and his yeah. schedules are kind of really bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm just over here with my shit. Okay, execution. Here's a question for you. Do you enjoy being a being the hero who goes around and saving the day and helping others because they are your family? Well, I can't really call myself a hero because while I go out and save my family members, I do have to go out and sometimes eat people. Let's see, Ultra Maximus has a question. Let's see, to yeah, everyone, okay. if you. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I was gonna read that. Sorry, really. <laughs> right, go ahead. I'm sorry. It's basically, it's basically asking all of us if we were to meet um, Super Sonic from the Fluid Comics in real life. Um, uh, how would we win? Uh, do you think we would win in a fight with a uh, thing? Uh, though, if it's real life, none of us are winning. Uh, real life, yeah, we're all gonna die. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nah, I just, no, I, no, I just catch him. I'll just catch him in the freaking in my freaking uh, pet hedgehog cage. Oh my god! Don't pull. A <laughs> fuck. I know you're referencing. <laughs> <laughs> Street Sonic. I don't think I didn't know this guy yet. Legend. <laughs> legend or not, I never meet that guy before. Sorry. No, I mean legend. My oh. character, legend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, oh, sorry. Wait, what, right? Okay. Question of you, all of you. Uh, I was just gonna say, if I was to actually fight Fleetway Sonic, I feel like I would take like the I'm just gonna kill him with kind of approach. Also, <laughs> just, hi so Destiny, why aren't you in- uh, you know you were invited to the stream, right? You were supposed to be in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, question of all of you, consider yourself as a hunty hero or both? Uh, you know, or both. Hmm. I don't think that applies to real life. Wait, what? What was it again? I don't think they're axing that in real life. <laughs> At least I hope not. Um, Wait, what were they axing? It's, a, it's about if, we're, if, we're, it's about if any of us are, are classify ourselves as either heroes and our heroes or both. Which, again, in terms of real life, that, that logic doesn't work. Uh, in real life, I... In character, I kind of play both a heroes and ant, an anti-hero and as Surge. So, both? In character? 
In case... Oh, sorry. One at a time, guys. Sorry. Alright, now go... Now, I think Nova was next. And then, um, yeah. Venomous. Mm -hmm. So go ahead, Nova. Okay, me, right. yeah, I consider it in real life as a hero on me. Now she's a artist. <laughs> now, Venomous. Real life, I'm just a guy with a big ima imagination. In character, I'm a hero, an anti hero, and a villain. And a hog. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Uh, let's see. There's another one. Uh, execution, I'll tell you one thing, just because you go around eating people, you're doing it for good, because, I mean, despite the- <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Hold on, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to laugh. Uh, I didn't expect this. Eating oh people, you're doing it for a good cause, I mean, despite the fact that it's bad, you're still a hero on the inside. Uh... <laughs> what was what? The <laughs> oh my goodness. And Ariel is simping. <laughs> kind of right to that one time when Zane got brought in. Ah, right. Also. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, I, that was funny. No, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna say too much on that because I'm got to get. I'm trying to get the episode out either today or tomorrow. Like seriously. So. Everybody, you guys are going to be in for a treat when when he comes back. Yeah. That's all I'm gonna say about Zane for now. Unless Jared wants to talk about him a little more. I only talk about him if people actually are curious about him. That's just how it works. Area, I see too many handsome hoggers. Why is everyone exposing me? <laughs> 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 uh, oh, why exposing I am. You. You're exposing yourself at this point. <laughs> oh, my why is my, my tomb shadow voice? Oh. No. Oh my god. Oh, no. Wait a no, minute. I just realized something what? about Ultra Madness real quick. <laughs> Ultra Madness. You know, when, we were, when we were talking about the Fleetway thing, he said you could just throw the Holy Bible at Fleetway. That's not gonna work. <laughs> He's gonna no, dodge that. A stu supersonic from the fluid comics is not a demon, the fuck? It's just Sonic transform out angry. He's just, he's just, he's just, angry, bean. That's it. He's just angry bean. Is there a demon? Yeah, he's angry just, bean. Um, he's just a, a, literally a ball of negative chaos energy. Oh, hi, Finite. So, hey, Finite. Wait, yeah. am I being forgotten here, or...? Uh, no, go ahead and talk. <sighs> I feel like I don't want to interrupt anything. No, go ahead. No. No, no, no. I need to say something. Just say, hey, I need to say something. Yeah, just go ahead and say it. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. Crystal. No, go ahead. Crystal. Aw, too shy. I'm not shy. I feel like I shouldn't talk. Crystal, you can talk, dear. Just join us in that com just join us in the conversation. Join us. Damn. Did she leave? Oh no. No, she's here. No, she's not here. No, the she moved herself. No, the thing the thing moved her, that's why I asked. Oh. But anyway. <sighs> I mean, I'm not gonna get any, I'm not gonna like ask get any questions to answer. I mean, it's fine. Well, you don't know. Mm. Well, you don't know that. Let's actually talk about the characters mm -hmm. that you actually play here. So Crystal here uh, plays a couple of characters for me, talk, starting with um, Taya, the Tails dog, who I introduced during the um, Dark Deception live streams, and she has been doing a couple of live reactions with me, along as well as Belia, this and a girl named 
Um, Cecilia. I'm so Cecilia. Cecilia. Yeah. <laughs> I typed something in the chat. Oh, is it sure you have a question? Another one. Is it ever going to fight Shampa because he did to be Why? No. <laughs> the the last time, the the last time they fought, he legitimately I don't know, almost one punched him. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. <laughs> I can speak yeah. now after like fifteen minutes. <laughs> Welcome, cat. Oh yeah. Also, this question. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Question. Okay, guys. Question to everyone. Who's your favorite character from Poppy Playtime? Catnap. Uh, Sally Bearhead. Dog, dog Day. Dog Day. Too many. Dog Too many. Day! I, I don't know why I... It's a hard one for me, honestly. Since I mostly like the villains. Like the villains, the monsters. You can just all say three of, You can just say which one you like. <laughs> it's a... It's a Catnip? difficult choice because uh, I like Huggy, I like my long legs, and I like um, Catnap as villains. <clears throat> That's fine. I um, like Gregory. <laughs> but if oh. I had to pick my most favorite, it'd probably be Mommy Long Legs, probably. Alright, now about you, Crystal. Mm -hmm. Mommy Long Legs, Huggy Wuggy, Kissy Missy, Catnap, Dog Day, Bunzo Bunny, Ca Candy Cat. Cappy and Daisy and and Pug PJ Puggett Pillar. That's some pretty good characters. My favorite, but you did beat that. There's one. There's one character in there that I sent for. Oh, same for Poppy. Oh my lord! Oh my lord! <laughs> and, 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 and Boxy Boo. Venomous, you can relax. I might ask you for the, the talk about your simp character. Don't expose yourself. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough. Really? Oh, yeah. Everyone's volume so high on my end. Eh, to be honest, I've seen worse, but I'm not going to say anything about it. Xavier. Xavier? What? Should I actually say, uh, tell everyone what uh, character I'm actually supposed to be playing on the channel in the future no. other than well, my own? No! no let if that it's be a surprise. If, if, it's, oh, okay. if, it's a, if it's one of the pink characters, I kind of feel like it is. I don't know, it's just, it's just the feeling. Wait, pink characters? Oh. Nothing, never mind. She no. got a feeling that tonight's gonna be... No, wait, no. pink characters. <laughs> When you like to know? I yes, I would. No. Also, okay, you know, okay, guys, I okay, would guys. say which character, but that would spoil like a major surprise. Okay, I'm guys, 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 playing one of the more major that, ones, but on, it, I don't want to spoil Louis. it. Shush. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> okay. Next question to everyone: What is your what uh, is your favorite character for Hero, my Hero Academy character? Oh, Wait, what? My Hero uh, Academia. Yeah, the anime. Oh, you mean the name? Oh. Yeah, yeah, My Hero Macadania Nut Cookies. Wait, what did you say? <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. What did you say, Makoto? You mean mid? Oh my god. What did you mean mid? Oh god, I'm gonna lose my yep, voice. We're not this. here to say just here to fucking say our favorite characters. Just say the favorite characters. We're not one thinking we're not thinking we're not. Like, seriously, one character. Oh, damn it! I have a list. Uh -oh. Basically, lightning round. Okay, let, let me just let me put it like this then. If we get like a favorite characters question, we're lightning rounding that bitch. We're not gonna sit here and ramble for the next ten minutes. Okay. Um, so, in other yeah. words, let's begin this lightning round starting with Aluka. Stop! Damn it! I have a list. Oh, and by the way, if you have a list, uh, suck it up. Pick one. <laughs> Why don't you suck your own? <laughs> I have a list. <laughs> I don't know. Dealing RKLs in here. Anyway. I have no idea. Oh my god. Alright, alright. So, who's next after um, Alucard? Um, Cat? Uh, next would be Briar. So, Briar, what's your favorite uh, My Hero Academia character? Mirio. Uh, of course, it's it would be. It. Okay, yes. uh, Destiny? Yes. yes. Favorite My Hero Academia character? 
Oh, uh, favorite character. Um. Uh, uh, are we gonna get an answer? Hold on. Oh. <laughs> To me, my favorite uh, character for my Hero Academia, I don't have any any favorite character because I never watch an anime. Uh, I never get time to watch any animation series. So unknown is your answer. Yeah. All right. Well, that, that's that, that's fine. That's fine. And if, and if you can't answer Destiny, we'll just come back to you, but, uh, Crystal? Uh, Fumitage Tokoyami. That's actually a good choice, I'm not gonna hate. Okay, Gabby? <laughs> oh, god! I didn't notice that. Okay, so for my answer, I gotta go with Shoto. I love Shoto a lot, I like him. She's uh, my Todoroki. Yeah, Todoroki, I like him. I don't look all dumb. Uh, Alright, Looney, your turn. Who favorite My Hero Academia character? Uh, I haven't seen the show, but I do know one character I like. Uh, I can't really say her name. I just call her the nickname. They call her Froppy. The little frog oh, girl. Uh, oh, you're talking about uh, Sue. You're talking about Sue. Sue. Yeah. Yeah. Um, actually, I like she likes character. to be called Sue. Anyway, uh, Emma, no. uh Emmy? <laughs> Deku. <laughs> the big oh, yeah. I think it's the main character. All right, we already got uh, Nova's answer. Uh, Makoto. Mina. Ah, uh, fuck! Oh my god, y'all picking the most obvious answers. Okay, Jared. <laughs> yeah. Since I have two, I'm only just gonna go with one of them, which is uh, Tokoyami. Hey, that How did I read that from a mile away? <laughs> okay, I have two main favorites. I just only just chose one for this one. All right, hey, Venomous. Jack Rose. Oh, but Zach. Mm, all right. Uh, so, uh, okay, Zach, welcome to the stream. Uh, we just we're answering our favorite My Hero Academia characters, and since you're here, what is yours? Um, okay. First off, sorry I was late. I was editing a, vi a video for 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 Venomous. Second, right. second, my favorite My Hero, my he my favorite My Hero character. Hmm. Um. Ow. Yeah, um. It's a villain or or he or, or hero. Doesn't matter. Doesn't in matter. general, just in general. Matter. Oh, um, I had to go with Kirishima. I actually like li like to do. I was gonna That's say since the third time. I swear to God. <laughs> Wow, Are you're you hating on the main character. That's okay. That's first strange. of all, I don't hate Deku. It's just like, oh, of course, it's the it's the main protagonist syndrome. Of course, everyone all likes right. the main characters. All right, who's next? Hey, buddy, I I voice the main protagonist. Fuck you. Shut up. <laughs> Not in that way, you pretentious <laughs> what? Anyway, yeah. Uh, anyways, the next one will be the one. Who, the next one will be the one who didn't answer, which is technically you still, and then Destiny. Okay. Um, yeah. Midnight. Ah. Of course. of course. I wonder why. Because I was booty women. Because of what happened. Shut up. Because of what happened. Makoto. It's because of what happened in the manga. That's all. Okay, Vegeta. And because milk. Anyway, uh, Destiny. <laughs> Big booty women. <laughs> hold on, hold on, real quick. Chris, uh, are you talking about Prince Vegeta? I swear to God, that's a real <laughs> Okay. <laughs> We still need the one the one person to answer the question. Yeah, Go damn. ahead, Destiny. I have to say my favorite character is Deku. <laughs> I was like, I was like waiting until like something like happened at first. All right, uh, we already have our next question. We already have our next question, everybody. Wait, real quick, uh, what did you say, Shadow Flare? I've been trying to say I'm gonna scroll back up on the stream because since Jesus is here, there's a question that he needs to answer. Yeah. Uh, what? It's it okay. They say Zach, but I don't know if referring to you or your character with this one. But it's basically asking um, what your favorite hero team is from Marvel or DC. So either or with that uh, to answer that one. I think that I think I think that'll be a more personal question. Um, my my favorite hero my favorite hero team 
Hmm. From Marvel or DC? Um, that's the entire hero count. Yes. It, 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 it says hero team, or or at least team in general. <laughs> yeah. I had to go with the Thunderbolts. Hi, of course. Sorry, Knight. Yay, Team Is Marvel it? fan! Yay. Is there? Oh. What? Um. I earlier, I actually, other than that reply, I actually typed something earlier that is kind of important of saying I'm sorry for being. I'll just read it. I'm sorry if I was like a little you're over fine, the top. Dude, you're fine. I just chill. You don't have to it's, apologize. It just says oh. I have anxiety of being left out and feeling like being forgotten. Uh, dude, Looney, you've already I didn't explained know. that. Yeah, you've already explained it here in the call. Yeah. You explained it in the call. Yeah. And I heard you already, so None you're fine, dude. I know, I just have this fear of feeling like if I do something wrong, I feel you're judged fine. for it. You're fine. Hold on. Hold on. Relax. Hold on. Uh, I'm gonna go with Thunderbolt. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Thunderbolt. We have a question, by the way. Uh, hold on, Briar. Um, Looney, relax. You're fine, dude. You're in the call. You're, you're, you're with us now. Just relax and stop overthinking it. Okay. I just, I just have anxiety sometimes about this stuff. I know. It's fine. Looney, look. It's fine. It's vibe time. Relax and get a snack and let's answer some questions. So speaking of which, here's our next question, actually. It says, to everybody, what is your favorite Kingdom Hearts character? Can I just get mine out of the way? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, who else to have a dog uh, anyway? On, real quick, that would be Crystal. Crystal, are you kind of dog day right now? <laughs> um, that's not me. That's actually my actual dog. Oh, okay. That's what he was asking. My, anyway, uh, little, my, my, my little rat. From, <laughs> anyway, my favorite character from Kingdom Hearts is Aqua. Mm, quality choice. Quality, quality choice. Quality. Quality. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, uh, well. Well, uh, I wonder why Aqua's your favorite. Alright, let's start in alphabetical order again. Uh, Alucard, favorite uh, character from Kingdom Hearts. That's where everybody's gonna Aqu pick Aqua. Aqua and Axel. Bitch! Oh, Axel! He, he, he okay, picked two. Aqua, Aqua he and Axel. Two. He, yeah, he's Wait, two. I have a question about this. Does Hold it have on. to be care? Wait until your turn, and we'll answer that question. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Go ahead, back to the person who was, um, Alucard. I already gave you my answer, Aqua and Axel. Alright, who's next? Alright, All right, Briar, it's your turn. I feel like it's gonna be on the nose when I say it, but I feel like- Just I'm say it! it. Riku? <laughs> that's, not, that's not a bad one. Oh, that's not a bad one. Riku. Yeah, she said Riku. Yeah, Riku. My brain says Suicune. Do you have Pokemon on the on the brain cell? Yes. Anyway, <laughs> is this supposed is this supposed to be, is this supposed to be Pokemon? Okay, Riku is your answer, right, Destiny? Yeah, it's supposed to be. Mm. <laughs> or both. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure because I never played the Kingdom Hearts games. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, that's that's understandable. All right, Crystal, favorite Kingdom Hearts character. Sora. I wonder why. All right, uh, for me, uh, I am not picking Aqua. <laughs> I am not picking Aqua. I am going with Mickey Mouse because that's the only character I actually care about. All right, oh my... who's next? <laughs> I wonder why. No, boy, huh? Really, Get the rat out of here. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot Derek not to be Oh, hey, that. Mick, what you doing here in the stream? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, now we got both. No, now we got both Mickey and Goofy in, in that okay. in the stream. <laughs> okay, let's move. Let's keep moving. <laughs> let's move on. I'm sorry. Yeah, let's move on. All right, Looney, your favorite Kingdom Hearts character. Does it have to be characters that originated from the games, or can it be like any yeah, It has to be from. It has to be from Kingdom Hearts. If it if they're not from Kingdom Hearts, then it doesn't count. As long as I would have said. As long as they're in a Kingdom Hearts. Um, canon canonical franchise. It doesn't have to, if if it's the manga or whatever. Go ahead. Does Goofy and uh, Donald count? That's yes, that's yes. a Disney. That's a Disney answer, but yeah. Uh, okay, then they count. Of course they count. They're legitimately in. Kino yeah, they they, uh, they count. I'm only, saying saying that, that, I'm only just saying that. I'm only just saying that. Those are my answers. Answer. Sorry, no, I just said that. I was talking about Looney. I was like, Looney, oh, I was saying that. I was saying that too, Looney. Oh, okay. I thought I. Was, 
I meant to say, though, that's my answer. I said that counts. Like, oh my god. Yeah, that's fine. I'm only, just, I'm only just mentioning that it also qualifies as a Disney answer. Okay, let's okay. go okay. the question. Alright, who's next? Be Amy. Uh, also, by the way, before you say your answer, Amy. Oh, thank you. Oh my god, stop, Goofy. <laughs> Alright, Amy, your, your answer. Axel. Axel, alright. Uh. Did, did Nova already answer, or did she already... My brain's dizzy. God damn it. Wait, who's next? Did Nova already answer this, or... No. <laughs> yeah, I just say for my king's... Uh, for my yeah, I say he's, she, he's Aqua, my favorite. Aqua. Okay, I'm, so, I'm sorry, it's just, that, it's just that everybody likes to go off for some reason. Okay, Makoto, favorite Kingdom Hearts character. Hold on, I have to... Let me think about this. Then... Okay, well... All right, we'll just come back to you then. He uh, Jerry. Ben. He's at Ben. <laughs> yeah, oh. Ben. Hi, Jerry. Ben this. Okay, the Einstein. I, I don't. I can't pronounce that bitch name. Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, Jared. I feel like I know. I know. I feel like I know who he's gonna say. My favorite Kingdom Hearts character is actually the one I actually relate to on a close level, and that's Sora. My Thomas was gonna say Sayonara for some reason. No, I actually <laughs> do no knows, but I actually do have an actual like personal like connection with Sora. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright, uh, alright, we are Venom, your answer? <laughs> you have to be goofy! <laughs> 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 Is it, hold on, real quick, is it bad that I legitimately just watched the, uh, watched a video that had freaking Goofy acting as the booty warrior? Oh my oh god. I <laughs> never seen that one. Or that, oh, uh, or, or, or that one other video with, uh, with Goofy, uh, being child, tried in court. Yeah. <laughs> Murder, I did. I'll fucking do it again. What? Hi, back on track. Who's next? Zack is the uh, last uh, one, Zack is the last one, Zack is Before I answer, um, I, I'm gonna make, uh, I'm gonna give Uku a, a, spe a special answer because he said, because he answered in the open, in the open chat, she goes for Xion. Oh yeah, Uku said Xion, by the way. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now <laughs> for <laughs> me, now for me, I know, and I know Jerry already knows this answer, I have to go with my boy Roxas. So this bro, it, you, you know what's funny? You have, your favorite is Roxas, my favorite is Ven. Yep, I know. And I haven't even said anything. So, go no. ahead, the la the the <laughs> 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 I can't English today. I think, I think, I think no, you're being saved last because you're the host. Nah, cap, cap, <laughs> cap. I don't. I, I, English. Right, English. 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 Los, lo, lo hablas. Hablas de inglés. I don't speak Taco Bay. Oh, All right. Bay. 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 All right. Bay. So, your answer, please. Let's try to stand track here. Okay. My my favorite character, of course, is is freaking obvious who it is. Actually, it's just say it. <laughs> is, it <laughs> you just say it. is it Aqua? No, it's not Aqua. <laughs> And don't beat around the bush. <laughs> is it Ursula? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, if you idiots will shut up. Zigbar. Lushu. As uh, is. Mm. Alright, Zigbar balls, right? That's his answer. I'm not <laughs> <laughs> uh, question, there's a question for Xidier here by Shadow A6YT. Uh, a uh, question for Xavier: What's your plans at 10K? Hopefully, I hopefully I'll have a hundred. Why is that then? No, I'm joking. <laughs> My uh, God, you are <laughs> you are you are crazy to believe that. Wait, you, wait, you, wait, you, Luna, you, skip, you skip, wait. Also, Luna, you you skip, you skip a, a a couple of a couple of questions. Uh, a couple of questions. What? That's yeah, a, one that one was just a joke. Uh, there's one here. I don't want to hear for uh, for Jesus actually asking who his favorite character is from the Thai series. I have to go with my boy Thai. I go with my boy Thai. There you and go. Hey, th hey, thank you for the hashtag Thai tried forever. Also, yeah. um, also, um, Starry is dying in the chat right now. <laughs> 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 
Because someone said, because, I'm, because I'm on the, the joke of, I can't speak Taco Bell. If. I don't speak English, anyway. <laughs> don't you so do you fucking retard? What? Hello. You know what, actually, I just thought of something as a version of that, like, the, of the Taco Bell meme thing. The fuck? If, I said I'm French, like, if you tell, talk to someone who's French, French, like, speaking fluent French, uh, it would be funny just to tell them, I don't speak croissant. Anyways, uh, <laughs> question for everyone, which is your least favorite SCP below XK class? Hold on, there's a <laughs> count. Let me look that up because I don't think I've wow, heard Wow, Makoto, I heard that. <laughs> yeah. Makoto, no, my br my son does <laughs> not count as uh, he's a freaking Avalon. Right. Don't matter. Uh, it counts in my eyes. <laughs> I need to double check what that class is because I never heard of that one. I keep forgetting XK. Uh, no, XK into the world class. XK into the world. So uh, Avalon. Let me, how, about, how about I double check then to make sure it's accurate? Go ahead. Cause I'd rather actually be fucking protective of this shit. Um, also, which one ahead. is my least favorite is fucking Cthulhu, cause that... Mm. What's up with, what's, what's up with that one? I'm joking. I was waiting for you to react, you dink. <laughs> what, Brian? <laughs> is, it favorite, favorite, is it favorite and least favorite? Or is no, it favorite? it's least favorite. Fucking uh, dope. I'm checking. Least favorite, um... You know the chocolate fountain with like chocolate bulbs in it. Yeah. Nope. 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 No. 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 I don't want reminders. Okay. That's um... my least favorite because I have a sweet tooth and I love chocolate. So when you're trying to eat chocolate out of a fountain and the bugs come out of it. At least you're getting <laughs> some protein. You know. I don't um, think that's, that's an. I don't think that's an XK class. I know all of us have a dream no, mind. I remember no, it says which is your least favorite below XK class, as in not XK yeah, class. Okay. Okay, um, <laughs> I don't have a least favorite one because of SCPs, really, so I can't really say, so to me, I can't really say I have least favorite at all. Me neither, And to answer real fast, I don't really have an answer for it. There's a question for all of us, so, oh, oh, sorry. I was, just, no, I was gonna say, besides, when you watch the Dr. Bright episode, he just makes all of the other SCPs funny as hell. Oh my god. Uh, sorry, but I don't know who is that. Oh, uh, it's... <laughs> yes, just keep it. Just keep Alright, wait, who hasn't... Who knows SCP but hasn't answered? I'm sorry. Before we go ahead. I kinda do. Alright, so um... which one is... Which one is your least favorite below the XK class? As in, not the end of the world ones. Does Shy Guy talk? Uh, oh. yes, you can. Shy guy is not yeah, end of the world. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's more mm -hmm. end of like a single like town or city rather than like end of the world. <laughs> but I hate you, shy guy. I actually saw there like in the chat and stuff like in the open. Hold on, the chat. Yeah. Hold on. I'm back. Welcome back. Uh, welcome, welcome back, back Gabby. Uh, Gabby, do you? Uh, Huh? Uh, Gabby, do you know SCP? SCP. Oh. No, SCP. No, S the SCP Foundation. Do you know the SCP Foundation? I'll be back. Alright. Uh, I don't think so. Okay, that's not really it. <laughs> I don't think she does, dude. I know, yeah, I know but Zach, when Zach reaction something. Okay. Keep, 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 keep in watching the SCP archive series that me and Green does, so he's learning. Oh, okay, so she doesn't really yeah, have anything. Probably best to wait then a little bit on that one. Yeah. Also, also, what did you want to say, Crystal? I I don't hate all this SCPs, to be honest. I don't have one that I... I, I don't have one that I don't like. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, 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 that's pretty much the same thing I said because SCPs are more fascinating to me than anything. But okay. there is one that I like if I could remember which one. 
Yeah, uh, if, only, if, only, if only have one that actually evolved, one we like. <laughs> personally, I'm, I don't really know much of, of SAP other than like there's a game of it, so I'm gonna have to pass on this. I, I think I liked uh, SCP-1471. 1471, which one is that? Wait, oh wait, isn't that Mallow? Mm-hmm. Hey, 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 let's go. Oh. I oh, yeah, the, oh, yeah, the, 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 the thing the Mean Green is terrified of. The thing me, the the one... is terrified of because she keeps which chasing is, which him. Is weird, which is weird because that one doesn't even kill, like, at all. I know. Yeah, it gives, um, it, it gives special favors. Anyways. Uh, no. Actually, actually, no. But but um, what what one four seven one does it just kind of just stalks and hangs around you. That's a nothing. More I, was, I was making a joke because of the fucking artist who I like to do. It. You fucking fuck. How about, how about you, Rare? Okay, both of y'all shut up. Okay. The <laughs> reason why you piss me, take it damn easy. Reason why? The uh, reason why I I like that one the most because of what you guys are thinking right now. The, it's funny. Yeah, because of the fact that <laughs> I, I kind of thought you were gonna that kind of thinking. Mean Green keeps running away from that thing because he keeps thinking that thing's gonna fuck him. But anyway, <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna use it now. I'm gonna use it now. Okay, I'm gonna use it now. Use my advantage. I'm using. Yes, I am going to use it. We are like the greatest. No, we love we we love to get whatever we want here. I'm gonna terrify you. Hey, ladies, you're both pretty now. Let's let's move on. We love picking on Green whenever he's not here. Makoto, I'm gonna kick your ass anyway. Hold on one second. Let me use this. Let's, let's get thank back you, on the thank you for telling me. Thank you Hold for on, telling me. On. Now this is gonna be more fun. Hold on, wait, real quick. Uh, what did you say, Emily? I was gonna say, if y'all don't shush, I'm gonna throw this fucking horn. Thank you, because thank we you. keep going off. Anyway, eh, yeah, because I will throw this shit. Okay, Dude, next. I question. have the timing on this. Nah, come on, next question. And no skipping uh, questions either. Yeah, Hold on, uh, I had a question um, on here. Um, I didn't answer. My, I didn't answer my, oh, my question. I, I I know a bit of SCP thanks to Jared. Alright, go ahead. My least favorite SCP. It has to be ten forty eight. I hate that fucking bear. Excuse me. Oh yeah. Oh. The right. one that fuck the one the the uh, the build a bear one. Hmm? No, I Yeah, it's the one that can make a copy of itself based on any um, material that it could find. Yeah, there's literally oh, there's one that's literally made of ears. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, th yeah, yeah, that, yeah, the one made of ears does it does ten forty eight dash a. Oh. Oh, Zach, I don't want to hear on someone now on the stream of YouTube. Maybe. I don't know what I don't know what you're talking about. It looks so adorable. Anyways, next question. Hold on, I had a question. I lost it. Give me a second. I got it. Did you actually like a question? A little bit in private chat. I saw it. it there was some okay. persona questions. Yeah. We had the yeah. We need persona questions. <laughs> Also, uh, real quick. Also, real quick. Uh, Uka said that she lost the Blake Doctor. Oh, uh, yeah, she does. She, she actually listed a bunch of ones that she knows. But the Plague Doctor. Oh, God, Green is Green is so not here to defend himself anyway. Who cares? <laughs> well, no, he can. And for some reason, everybody wants to gang up on him when his fucking uh, zombie ass ain't in here. Yeah, who cares? Come back. Welcome Come back. back. <laughs> Zombie. Uh, literally, me, his dad. Who cares? I care about. I care about my, my baby brother. And yet, you can't stop traumatizing him. Yeah, oh. yeah. You keep and you, and yet you keep bullying him. Here's one. Here's one. Right, him? Here's one right after the SCP one. Technically, uh, to all, what is your top five, five cartoon shows? Okay, this okay. I recommend for this one we do kind of need to go one time because they're asking for five shows at once. We actually need to actually fucking go one time for this. Mm. Oh, and uh, also, yeah. by the way, I'm adding an extra rule to that. Let's just say our answers and move along, and then we'll judge our opinions later. Correct. Wait, didn't we answer this back oh, from the last? Because this stream? is five of them, so we have no time to ramble here. No time. No time to didn't ramble. We... Yeah, didn't we ask the same question? Didn't someone ask the same question in the last stream? They probably the last did. Few they pro somebody probably did, but if they did, it's probably not the same person. Don't worry about who it is. Just answer the question. 
if you want to. Okay, if they weren't there, I'm just going to go with right my same answer when we get to it. But anyways, now it's gotten off with Alucard. E, B, or B. Fuck. Oh, sorry. I'm, no, I'm minutes. back. Sorry about that. What was okay, the question again? Okay, what is your top five favorite cartoon shows? <laughs> Perch, Kelly, Dog. Naruto. That's not a cartoon. Ew. Oh, sorry. Eh. I'm gonna go with Cartoon Dog. Examples, Adventure Time. I'm gonna go with Cartoon Dog. I don't know the other four. That's fine. Okay, just... Alright, that's that's fine. Curse of Cartoon Dog is, uh, is based. Uh, Briar? Um... I can't think of five at the moment, but I can at least give you one. Okay. That, 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 that's fine. Um, if Green was here, he would be backing me up on this. The original Pokemon XY the series. If anybody knows that. Uh, I mean, it's, it's your opinion. I'm not going to judge. I think that was a good season. All right. Uh, Destiny's Child. Oh, my God. Oh, my <laughs> God. Really? <laughs> okay. Um. Favorite cartoons. Uh, I'll say Adventure Time, Amazing World of Gumball, uh, Teen Titans Go. I'm so old. How do you think I feel? I know. Kone <laughs> Kone Kids Next Door. Baller. Baller show, by the way. Um, the the, the Adventures of the Super Mario Brothers. Okay. I love those answers. <laughs> um, Who's next? Oh. Uh, Crystal Meth. Oh my fucking... Cat. Well... I like Steven Universe. Okay. That's it. You have four I more. Think... You have four more. We're doing top five. Um. Um. Um, didn't you guys wanted to, like, hear me explain about my characters? I mean, you were about to until the questions came in, so... Yeah, I actually did want to talk about them, but let's actually... Uh, crap. Well, first, let's just get this out of the way, and then we'll try to go to that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think to, uh, the question is about uh, the favorite uh, anime stuff, right? No, favorite cartoons. American We're still cartoons. on top five favorite cartoons for everyone here. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Yeah, top five, yeah, top five I, favorite cartoons. I think I have the two favorite cartoons, I, uh, I think. Okay. This one. I think for one, yeah, I really enjoyed the Steven Universe series cartoon, and the second one, if I'm not wrong about the name, it depends how I spell it, I think it's uh, Gravity Falls, something like this. Okay. Yeah. It's so... both a favorite series that I watched for the past years. Okay, Gabby. Gabby. This Gabby, top five favorite cartoons. And I think she stepped away. She's not muted. Hello. Alright, anyway, uh we'll <laughs> we'll come back to her. So go ahead, Cap. I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure to keep 
die on the open chat. All right, I actually, I actually got, uh, I think I got me a, 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 uh, the five list here. All right, so first up, I'm, I'm going with Pokemon because I grew up with that shit. I grew up with Pokemon. Mm. Uh, Gravity Falls, OG show for me. I love watching that. Yeah. Uh, Avatar: The Last Airbender is easily up there for me. I love Avatar. <laughs> love that show. from the right. <laughs> Oh, piss off. Anyway. <laughs> okay, I have my next two. My next ones are uh, the OG Teen Titans. OG, I love OG Teen Titans. Love that show. Mm -hmm. uh, my last one. Uh, I just had it in. I just had it. It just went away. Uh, Randall, welcome to me here. I just had it. Uh, I'm actually going to go with an interesting answer here. I'm going to say the, the anime this year is a Batman. Nice. Those are my top five. Cool. Okay, Looney, yours. Remember... Only the answers, no long, no long spews. Okay, first, first one, obviously, Looney Tunes show. Second, stay on brand. Two, Mayor's Tall Tales, since that was one of the shows I grew up with. I'm here. Let me think of other no, ones. Welcome back, Kevin. Yeah, we'll get to, we'll get back to you as soon as he's done. So we're going yeah. right back to you, okay? Oh. <laughs> Uh, no, let me think of what other ones. Um, brain, think, think, think. <laughs> uh, uh, Super Mario Super Brothers Super Show, since that's nostalgic for me. Uh, I should set that one. Damn it. <laughs> what else? What else? I'm trying to think here. I I know this one is. A little divisive, but Pac-Man: The Ghostly Adventures. That's four. Now oh, what else? Okay, I I have to go with one of Nova. I have to agree with Nova. One of these Gravity Falls. All right, now mm -hmm. Gabby, it is your turn. Go ahead, five. All right, T T M N T. Okay, good one. Good one. Which one? Teenage and Nature's Turtle. And and not but which version? There's many versions of it. Ah! Tony Milton. We don't have to go through the Did, versions. You don't need to go through right now. Just, 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 just say the answers. So, oh, ne yeah. what's your next one? Gabby? Hmm. I think we're going to go One Piece. Okay. I could just say. <laughs> and any more? That's a no. Gabby? You were here. No, you're here. Yeah, you gotta pick five. So you picked two already. So three more. Okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Star Wars, Rebels. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, that makes me feel Wonder Over Yonder? Okay. One more. Mm -hmm. Okay. I forgot the show existed. I didn't. Lego Star Wars? Alright. Great. Okay. Now, um, <laughs> Emily. Lucy. <laughs> I'm gonna throw some OGs here. We'll see. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. That's one. Nice. I don't care. Leave it alone. I don't care. Okay. I don't care. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm tired of hearing the blue ones. Anyways, OGT times. Yay. Uh, Batman the Animated Series. Uh, Ooh, let's go. go. <laughs> let's go. Respect. Let's go. Respect. Yep. Respect. And then for the fourth one, and I grew up with this shit, regular show. Don't worry, bro. And I know a guy. I would count this as a cartoon, but this is from an adult series. But boom, docs. There you go. Done. That, that Dude, I, I feel old now. Black Black old. 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 As of the resident, black person in here, that counts. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, go on, Makoto, you're next. Leave uh, from the uh, vine. You, you, you skinned Nova. No, Nova already said hers. Uh, yeah, Nova's, she did. No, Nova already said her answer. She says Steven Universe. 
Okay. And gravity falls. And gravity yeah, falls. That, yeah, that gravity falls. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit Cap with the feels again. Please from the vine. Ah, not again! <laughs> okay, I'm not out of the show. You know what? It's, it's, it's regular show, it's Adventure now. Time, <laughs> Boondog. That's four, right? That should be yeah, four. four. That's four. Yeah. You got one more. Yes, yeah, five, five. Uh, 2012 uh, TNT. Okay. okay now I, 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 I would have said OG Teen Titans, but I was limited to five. Uh, I said it for you in my answers. You know what, uh, I said it for you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know what? Um, you know what Uko actually is sp- his turn. Oh, sorry. I just had to say something real quick. Uh, you uh, know what Uko actually now, mentioned? We are... mm. oh. Sorry. I am. I, uh, didn't get a chance. What? What'd you say, um, what'd you say, Crystal? I, um, I didn't go, so I kind of felt that I was being skipped. All you said was Steven Universe. Yeah, all you said was Steven Universe. That was good. No, oh, that's because I saw it. I saw someone else said that. Oh, no, we thought that was your answer. That, that wasn't my answer. Okay. It's actually well, more than that. You kind of left us hanging in quiet you silence. Yeah. Kind of hanging. You kind of left us quiet. Wait, who? Who I mean, next? How do you? I mean, now you know how I feel. Okay. Crystal. Okay, that's okay. You know, like Cap says. Herbert, this is gonna be so old. <laughs> so just, so just five, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Ben Ben Ten, Johnny Bravo, Cow and Chicken, Our Puff Girls nineteen ninety eight. That's four, okay. Um and Dexter's Laboratory. And now my gray hairs are growing because I feel old. <laughs> and now I uh, um, I I've seen and chicken. those. I seen I seen those when I was little. It was during the time when I was like. I, I seen them when I was young too. I grew up with those on Boomerang. Uh, on Boomerang now, when that was a thing. Now it's Venomous' turn, right? Wait, yeah, it's did Venomous' turn. turn. Oh wait, sorry. Go ahead. So. I got that. I'm freaking trying to go through the list here. Don't mind That's what I'm trying to do. Uh, Shadow. Yeah, Shadow. Because then, because then, if you're reading off the uh, the the call list, then I'm next. Yeah, the freaking thing is all over the place where I'm looking at. Yeah, Jared. Yeah, Jared is next. But okay, hold on. What do you have it? What do you have it showing? It is my is my answer real quick. Uh, no, like he. The call wasn't the sidebar when you're not when you're not looking into the call itself. Yeah, I wasn't. Yeah. Why? The Why? Because that, was... because that's in alphabetical order. Yeah, I was. I need to, but go ahead, Jared. I know people are going to probably judge me for my last one, but I'm going to uh, go with I'm going to go with the top first anyway. Starting with the Grim Adventures of the Billy and Mandy. Quality. Yes. Yeah, so, oh, yeah. I'm going to play this one. Then there's uh, Song of the Hedgehog Saturday morning, also known as Song Saturday AM. Saturday AM. Yep. Yes, my right. being one of the few shows that actually sticks to the actual source material, but continue. The Spectacular Spider Man. Uh huh. No. Spider Man. Spider Man. Avatar, Avatar Last Airbender. Uh-huh. From the oh, let's go! Okay, stop it, McConnell, I'm gonna cry! <laughs> and generally, I'm probably one of the only few, one of the few that I will actually openly say this right now in the thing. My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Okay. Yes! 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 I, I I have one thing to say to that. My little mm. brony. Oh my Stop. god. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't care. I'm a brony stan and I don't care. The fact that because does that you want to show him the show. Yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> you couldn't do me. Oh my god, freaking uh, Luca's like, what about total drama? But go ahead, anyways. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm real old. <laughs> anyways, <laughs> not drama. I mean. Anyways, now it's Venice's turn. Go ahead, Venice. Alright. Five, right? Yeah, yeah, five. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Number one. Ben ten. Uh-huh. Number two. Uh, 
Number two, SpongeBob. Man, we did it, but we did it. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> Go ahead. Number number three, the original Teen Titans. Fuck Teen yes. Titans Go. Titans Go. <laughs> Teen Titans Go is cringe. Anyways, anyways, keep going. Except for the movie that was number pretty four, good. Number four, Steven Universe. Okay. Yes. None and number five, Yo House. Right. Yes. Ah, nice. Nice. Yeah. Now it's no Zach's turn, and Zach, there is one answer I'm waiting for, so don't disappoint uh, me. Don't uh, disappoint me. Everyone wants it restricted to five because there's a lot for me. Okay. Uh, okay. Number one, Kolioko. Finally! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Well, you relieved it, man. It, wait till after he finishes the list to say go something. Ahead. Se second, Lucha Lucha. Oh, uh, fucking fuck old! <laughs> Go ahead. Number, <laughs> three, <laughs> number three, anyone, uh, I don't know if anyone saw, saw this, but uh, Puka. Ah, uh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Num number four, Robot Boy. Okay. Never heard of it. <laughs> that and shit number... slapped. Go ahead, and, sorry. and number five, My Little Pony. Uh, all right. Now. <laughs> I actually, it's, uh, this... it's my turn now. Oh joy. Uh, how old it's is my... How old am I gonna be after I say some of this shit? Okay. Fucking let's, do it, let's, do it. let's do it. Let's do it. Let's all be old together. Bring it on. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start with the probably the oldest one, Astro Boy. Oh, yes. <laughs> Chill out, guys. You guys can I know, freak the we, fuck we out We know Astro later. Boy's popular since he's technically the one that popularized manga, but chill the fuck out. Ed, Ed, and Eddie is number two. Hey. Nice. Yes. <laughs> respect. We get your respect. Respect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. The Flintstones mm -hmm. is number three. Yes, I'm that fucking old. Yes. Anyway, I get all the Flintstones. I can already feel my facial hair is growing. Anyway, shut the fuck up. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, me too, baby. All right, moving on. That was three, right? Yeah, Sorry. Three. Yeah, that's three. Yeah, that's three. Hold on. Uh, the oh, original me. X Men. Yeah. <laughs> Never seen it. <laughs> And finally, oh my God, you gonna say it? Oh God, finally, I want to say. Uh, hold on, dude, don't blow up. Just come back. <laughs> okay. Uh. <sighs> It, uh, oh, wait, I'm sorry. It's Shaolin Showdown. <laughs> hey, do I know that? Uh, I'm, I'm so old. <laughs> wait, hold on, I gotta take a look at that. Hold on a second. Because of one character, Wuya. Bring up your baby. Hold on. I'm calling you to be her. <laughs> <laughs> wait, I feel like say? I recognize this what one. What did you say, Crystal? What I feel like I recognize this. Uh, shall I show now? I kinda do, kinda. Let me get a picture. Let me it's... get a picture. You know it's what? I, no, I, I don't remember I'm watching not... Shaolin and Showdown like a fucking bitch when I was a baby. <laughs> I, will, I, 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 will say, I will say in my list there are two shows I could have put on there, but there were just other shows I liked a bit more. Yes, and the thing is, I do want to give these two honorable mentions, though. Yeah, I wanted to pick <laughs> some other ones, so go ahead, Jared. The two I want to give oh. honorable mentions oh, to so. are, um, the, uh, our ones like El Tigre, obviously. Of course. And the other, the other honorable mention goes to American Dragon Jake Long. Correct. 
now. I, also, Dude, I love those shows. Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. But first, go ahead, Crystal. I'm sorry. <laughs> just I'm just laughing at the part. Just like we're just like telling about these different TV shows. Like some of us feel like we're like old from hearing some of this. I don't know why. It just it seems a little funny to me. Hmm. I, I could have said Sonic said it and but Jerry said it first, so I was like, fuck. It, that doesn't you mean it. You want to know what's that one that... First Uka, one. <laughs> you want to know what's one that is honorable to mention to me that Uko actually kind of reminded me of that I wish I did put on my list? Which one? My Life as a Teenage Robot. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a good one. Also, like that, I love that, that, that show. All right, now, Crystal, this... back to oh. what we were discussing about your character, oh, right. starting off with Taya. Actually, uh, real quick, before you actually move on to the, to the discussing of the character <laughs> he plays, uh, is no one going to say hi to Uko? Oh, hi, Uko. Yeah. Uh, I didn't yeah. know. Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. I was about to say that. Fucking also, uh... I hate Discord sometimes, but go ahead. Also, also uh, real quick. Can I also say my uh, my honorable mention because I do I actually have two that I that I want to mention too. Go ahead. Okay, so that number one I have for my honorable mention number one, Kurt the Cowley dog, of course. Mm -hmm. Can't go can't go wrong with that with that pink dog. Second, Danny Phantom. Uh, oh, I have three I now quiet down because it's Crystal's turn. Because Damn I'm... it. Huh? Damn it. Damn it. Damn it, you. <laughs> oh Wait, my god. What? Oh my god. Chris, I was. Go I was gonna say something real quick, though. Oh my god, guys. Wait. Damn it, Jesus. I was afraid I didn't even get a chance to say it. <laughs> Chris, though. Hello. She muted it. She muted herself. Yeah, I know she muted herself, but. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, Xavier. What? Before we jump back to the question, how do you think my e coin? How you what? You saw the new e coin on my on my Discord. Uh -oh. Oh, she oh yeah, I see it. That's nice. Uh, yeah, she's <laughs> Oh, the first is bad. Nice. All right, go ahead, Crystal. Yeah, oh boy! Did you summon? Did you summon Cerberus? <laughs> oh, I, I think I did. I think I did. I, I, I did. I did. I mean, no, I mean, no. to be honest, I have to. I have. I already have like. I mean, to be honest here, I already have like three dogs, so that's fine. Anyways, go ahead about Taya first. I mean, um, like, what do you <laughs> want me to? Oh, yeah, so... We're talking about your, we're talking about your roles. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, well, first of all, Taya, we should talk about Taya a little bit, especially her backstory, where she came from, who her previous master was, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so... So Taya used to like be like you know originally be like Tails, so she tries to like find a way to bring back her her sister uh, Carrie, aka well what used to be Sonic. Okay. Because so she tries to like open like a rift to cyberspace because that's where Carrie has been stuck for I don't know how long I think like. She felt like that she's been stuck there for like, like three hours. But for Taya, she's been trying to get carry out for like three years, I think. Mm-hmm. Hey, let me make sure so everybody knows who the hell you're talking about. <laughs> I think some people do. I'm putting her on the screen. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, oh there she is. <laughs> You're up to like putting the wrong thing. No, because I, I I freaking pulled the image up. It went to the side, so I didn't see it. So I was like, wait, where the fuck did it go? But it, she was off to the side. But anyway, she's, oh, there she is. Oh. If you look on. 
people on the uh, thing can actually see it. But anyways, go ahead. I just seize your video. In the, dude, I was talking about look on the. Okay, all right, you idiot. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> Anyways, people on the freaking in the freaking stream can see it. So, but, but anyways, go ahead. Next is Belias. Bel wait, I'm sorry. Blight. I keep calling her Belias because I'm thinking of Goliath. But go ahead. It's uh, just, I say it's pronounced uh, Blight. It's yeah, Blight. 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 There we go. If you, if you need to like relook at it, you could just look on translator. <laughs> but, yeah. So next is Bunny Girl. Blight, known as the Sin of Wrath. Basically. Are you good? <laughs> Don't worry about. Are you that. good? <laughs> I was just thinking of a song in the back, and the, that was when you said wrath. I kept thinking of the song from Veggie Tales that goes, We are the grapes of wrath. We <laughs> never think about we are the grapes of wrath. Don't worry about that what song the was. Anyway, I, go ahead. <laughs> so, if you were a Veggie yeah. thing, you know. <laughs> so, so, grew up with it. <laughs> Blight, so, Blight used to be mortal. Honestly, her. Her family is very unknown because she was she was living out on the streets as a as a baby and growing up. Okay. Oh. Hmm. And let's say like what? Yes. That's <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just gonna say that. No, no, no my no my dog. My dog's <laughs> dog. The attack. Sorry, my dog. Okay. <laughs> no, he's a bitch. Why? Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna boof you when you've been silly. No, no, I'm not being silly. Like seriously. Yes, Crystal. Yeah, stop it. Talking to you, Crystal. I think she's talking I... about the bunny. The key. No, that. No, I'm actually talking to the dogs. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so, anyway. But back to the rabbit. Anyway, so Blight has been, like, um, she's been, like, surviving on her own, t try finding ways to take care of herself. Plus, she has been stealing some, some food, and she's trying her best to not get noticed until that's when she met the, the father of Wrath, who was about to kill her, but she managed to escape from him. But she didn't know that there was, like, a like a car coming towards uh, towards the, the, the father of Wrath, so she managed to save him, even though that she didn't know that he's a demon. That's when he decided to, like, take her in and raise her as his very own child. Went from trying to kill her to trying to raise her. And uh, doesn't that sound familiar? Well, you could say that he found that she's very fast and that he could use someone with that much agility. Plus, well, he's a rabbit, so. You know? Mm -hmm. yeah. plus, he, plus, he even knows that she's really good with knives, so he taught her some of the few basics. Correct. But now it's time for the bee in the room, okay. Cecilia, since they technically saw uh, her yesterday. Uh, can I say something real quick? No. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Damn. Wait, what? So. Oh. Um, no, I was talking to you, I was talking to you Crystal, because you are laughing. I was like, wait, what? I'm just laughing, like, Looney is just, like, wanting to, like, say something, but you just, like, no. Just, like, wanting to it, hear it, some it, more explanation. It, it is gotten chaotic. What's it there right now? Okay. <laughs> so, not, not, Cecilia. Not you, but... Fuck! <laughs> Anyways, go ahead. God damn it! I was... <laughs> go ahead. Ah! <laughs> 
Okay. So, Cecilia, Sin of Lust. She, she was, she used to be a normal mortal bee girl from, from perspective. <laughs> she, let's say like, she was like living like her days, like working, working and living until that's when like she was kidnapped and was take, taken in by like a, like a, a group of like, mafias and they started to like threat threaten her torture her and i'm pretty sure you know what happened next because i'm not going to say it so <laughs> yeah. i'm not going to say those yeah. and okay. during and during the times like she she they weren't like they decided not to use her no more so they decided to kill her when she died she met with but she met with a with a demon, t- giving her another chance and another. <laughs> my do- and my dog freaking interrupt me! God damn it! <laughs> they do that. <laughs> anyway, so the demon gave her another chance and give gives her like the name of of the sin- the new sin of lust. She. She does keep doing her job, but she also has to gather on uh, like how many mortal souls that she can take. So she decided to use like what she is now to lure anyone in and she'll like she'll like lowers their guard down and she will like get what she needs to re- to repay. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately. She doesn't like get any joy out of it. No, she doesn't. So not. yeah. Yep. But she kept going. She kept going with it, not wanting to stop. Feeling that if she did disobey, she would end up dead and rotting. But now she has someone who she can actively learn to enjoy. I'm back. I'll go back. I wonder why. Go <laughs> back. Welcome back. Uh, because anyway, I I think I managed to get something for for Esther too. Did you? Mhm. Because you have the because you have the drawing done, and I do have to put the video up either tonight or tomorrow. So go ahead, let me get her up. <laughs> I still, I still love the the design that I chose for her. I, I still love it. <laughs> oh shit! Sure. Like she kind of looks very windigo like when it comes to the head. That, oh yeah, that's actually the idea I was going for, because when I researched like about windigos and learning what they do, it actually popped into pop into my head with that idea oh so i decided to make her like that real i still quick, like it it's so good real, real quick look at gabby in the open chat no no it wasn't <laughs> wait, you, wait you like esther <laughs> no. no way no no rusty, rusty also oh, reacted man. to cecilia Oh, there's no freaking way. No way. Sorry. No way. <laughs> S- sorry, but there's only there's only one person tasting that honeybee. Anyways. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> anyway, I'm just making a joke. What? Stop. What's in that does honey? Is my question. Stop. But does it stop uh, the side from wanna... scenting? Uh, cream. Anyway. I. What? <laughs> okay. Anyway. Um. <laughs> so. uh... So for Esther, she um, she used to be a Sonic before in her world until that's when she discovered something that Eggman was like looking for. Oh, there we go. At first, when when they managed to get to like they, so like say like they were like they kind of found like an old forest uh, temple, so to speak. Hmm. So Eggman thought that he found like what would like give him like everything, but he didn't know it was just a mask. 
he thinks that he went through all that for nothing, so he so he left. So, uh, Esther, aka Sonic, however, she takes a look at it, wondering what that is, until that's when she found like a note in the mask. And she reads she reads the notes showing that showing that there is a there's like this dark spell that that you're supposed to say it backwards. And when she set, said those, the mask then fl- the sun so- starts glowing and floats up in the air and then that's when it like like clashes onto her face. She tried to like take it off, but the more that she tries to take it off, the more that she felt like her face is about to rip off. You watched the mask, haven't you? No, not really. Okay. I have. I kind of, I think I got the idea. I think the idea that I got was um, from the Suicide Squad. I got the the idea from the Suicide Squad because of um, the starfish. Oh, okay. Because when I because when I first saw that one scene where it shows that you know how the the mini starfish like hits like you know. On the on the face of the person, uh-huh. and when like we can't t- take it off, and once you show that you take it off, it shows that it was like you're already dead. Like if you try taking it off, it also reminds me of a face hugger. But anyway, so like so Esther did try to like struggle, but it only made her like. Only made like the the spirit of the Wendigo enter inside her, and that's when like her appearance somehow changed. She, that's when she has like a a feeling of hunger that she has to like she has to eat something to stabilize it because it's very unstable. So she has uncontrollable hunger. Fuck. So she's one of the fish. So she's technically a fae then, which wow. is interesting. That's actually interesting since I like because I like the um I like the um stories of the Fae. All right, you know what? I think we should actually give people who want to the chance to actually discuss about the characters that they want. So let's start mm-hmm. off with people who actively have characters to introduce. That means if you want to, you can inter- you can talk about Hog um Venomous. Really? Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. So starting off with Alucard since he's back. Alucard, why don't you discuss your characters if you want to? <clears throat> well, I'll start with my OC Neo. Neo Shell's pretty much the same as like Shadow the Hedgehog, which if you based on Sonic Adventure too. He is basically well, what people would say an ultimate life form, but kind of sometimes has a hard-headed personality, I guess. But... Art imitating life, anyway. Yeah. The other one, I would say Alucard, he, he's not much of a hero or a villain. Just a guy with a freelance kind of thing, killing anything that gets in his way. Not to mention, hangs out with hangs out with Sarah Victoria and Integra. But that's besides that point. Now this one I've been mean to I've been mean to put, but Yangshell.exe. He was form of a black heart. Namely, Neil's heart. He pretty much absorbs negative energy, but can almost eat something as a different substitute as energy. Let me see, do I have the freaking art for this? Hold on. He, he only he only goes after people with negative thoughts and he eats them like energy like an energy vampire. But so far, you are he's, so been, he's but so far he's been trying other different ways to get more energy. But he's pretty cool. But sometimes he can be stubborn. But those are the other 
those are the three I will probably mention because the other ones I'm still working on. Alright. Well, that's good. That's, a, that's good so far. So, Uko, you are next. Oh, God. Okay. Um, well, I, I mean, the main characters so far that, that have already been shown, have been shown enough in my, that's, that I've played are, of course, both Yuka Mina and Minami. So, without spoiling too much of their story... I'll just give a general overview of who they of who they are. So I might as well start off with Best Girl with Best Girl herself, Yuka. Let me see if I can find her. She's in here somewhere. <laughs> I'm where sure you'll find where her. has Yuka gone? <laughs> Knowing oh, her, she'll oh, probably off she doing be? something. She's off doing something. Yeah, she's under my chair. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Like right. god oh my it, god this mouse all right go ahead all right well yuka for the most part again not spoiling too much she is basically a half, she's basically a half breed that is both mortal but also but also a demon which a special sin demon due to her parents one of them being a regular mobian wolf who did who did unfortunately pass away during during her birth during Yuka's birth so and her father being the being the embodiment of lust itself the Osmodeus. sin incarnate Osmodeus, yep so Yuka <laughs> inherited many her main the main features of her mother which you know comparing the two side by side those two are almost identical and me and the mean inherited traits that she got from her father was one the um, like just limitless stamina and the the insatiable mm -hmm. need to just you know give into give into the sin of lust and of course yeah and of course encourage those around her to partake in the sin as well And she feeds off of that energy uh, with every sexual encounter just to essentially survive and to uphold her her status as a princess of lust, of the lust ring. As for, and that's all I'm going to say because there is more to it, but I'd rather hold that as a little surprise for the future. As for Manami... Which, let me she... find her. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you're gonna have... I'm, I'm worried that you're gonna have to do a lot of, like, scrolling through your fucking folders. I have so much shit, and I organize my shit, but I still somehow lose it. Why do I have bad. so much shit? Why? Okay, but it is... Oh, oh, man, actually, no, I'm an idiot, because you know why? I gave Minami her own folder. No, wait, oh, wait, wow. who said they were back? Wait, how wait, much of actually, that character yeah. do you have? <laughs> Not that much because she's barely new. But anyways, who just said they were back? Real quick. Brandon, back. Okay, Welcome we're back. back. Alright, but Welcome now back. Right, Uko, you have the floor once again. Um, as right. for Manami, she is a is is of course an exe, but a special type of exe that I don't have much knowledge of. That would be up to Xavier to help explain that that part for me. Okay, so Minami but, is one of the EXCs that's always existed, very similar to Exidior. However, unlike Exidior, who has turned into an EXC against his will because of what the because of that fucking war, she has always existed as an EXC, making her technically one of the progenitors. But here's the problem: she's never actually been shown. So, the, and the one who's actually the presenter, of course, is X. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she and... invented EXE privileges. No, it's still X. She's just, like, one of the ones that were already existing. But then, yeah. one of the, uh, like X, one of the originals. Welcome back, Venomous, but go ahead, um, Buko. Yeah, she is basically one of the originals in the story, uh, at least in her story. 
that has existed and has also it and has also seen you know the war the war that that took place and funny enough she is actually one that was very much against against the idea of a war ever taking place and is deeply hurt that it happened because as as I as I'm sure it's been shown in videos she is one of the more gentler type of and more mm -hmm. pacifistic type of exes that only wish to maintain the balance of life of life and death more so more on the side of life where she wants her children that she that she calls the mortals and you know those that are uh, that aren't exes she wants people to experience what it is what life is the virtue of it and essentially living essentially not not, not leaving your the life that you that you had with any regrets awesome. that is yeah that is her main virtue that she wishes all of her children to to experience and those like Lord X and other EXEs that do not that have lost their that have lost their original purpose, she very really, very much despises them and is a constant um, constant never ending argument with, um, with the with the other EXEs because because she's the one of the few that actually wants them to change their ways and actually, you know, view the mortals or her children and, you know, not as just playthings or tools or just, you know, lambs to the slaughter, but actual living, living, breathing beings that deserve to live a long, long lasting life. Uh huh. Also, she did, also she had very little information about about why the um war itself happened in the first place. So, but now that she's with Exidia, she's actually learning, and sh she's kind of having to basically think about what's going on because yeah, because as an entity, technically these beings that exist sometimes don't ever come down and actually interact. Of course, eventually they do find a reason to, like how Exidia himself was originally a, basically an emotionless creator before he fell in love with his children on Mobius after having to restart their existence over and over again. He learned to basically fall in love with them. And so that's the reason why he wanted to protect them. And Minami is very similar to Exidia in that fashion. Yeah, where, and not only not only does does she love her children, she all she actively goes down to the to the to Mobius and the other worlds, you know, that that is within her reach to actually live alongside them and examine them, study them, see their lives, see their lives, and how how they go through with it each and every day. Just to basically feel as if she's she's just like them in a way, and 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 also to prove to the other EXEs that even though they're mortals and essentially aren't aren't like aren't like her or the others, they're still they're still just as human and just a part of this reality as is as is all of us in Manami's in Manami's words. Right. Also, hi, Cookie Dry. I didn't even notice you were in here. <laughs> oh, hey, Cookie. Jesus. Wait, hi. Cookie? Cookie was... I think... I hope she's still in here, but... Yeah, yeah but I was muted. <laughs> but anyways... Uh, hi, Cookie. And, yeah, hi, Cookie. And... Any more, or is that it? That should be <laughs> it. I'll right. save the rest for huh? the video to come, basically. <laughs> okay, then the next one would be oh, yeah. Briar, dear. If you would Before like Briar to says actually... Anything, Go ahead. Before Briar says anything, I did put my character in the open chat. I Which did, I did. Uh, put a tag for... Okay, because I, I have my phone too, because I might... Oh, hang on. 
No, I did. I did <laughs> see it. I got it on the screen right Orange now. Play. Make it sure because my thing's acting up. All right. Here, let me, I have a uh, question, like, before we explain any of our characters, should we explain the main ones most people know from the, most people know from our channels that we are also coming to, to your channel, or just ones that we play on your channel, or that are exclusive to your channel? Uh, I think that's one I want to do. Oh, shit. Um... I think you should... Okay, if you have, like, a lot of characters, just limit it to two, and it doesn't have to be if they're on the channel or not. Just limit it to two, okay? Because okay. I know, yeah. for some, I, know for, I know for a fact that some people have multiple ones, and I just realized that... that okay, I, I actually know have to... Th actually go over to them. But, Looney, you have to wait your turn. Right now, is, right now technically, it's Briars, but Emily, um, finish what you were saying first. <laughs> Oh, that's all I have to say. I'm sorry. I'm just not feeling too good. I might jump off because I am kind of getting that mother nature mode, but that's why I put it in there for you. Okay. I'll dis I'll you know what? I will discuss it right after Briars because I would like to because technically she's actually gonna appear soon, so why not? Okay, I appreciate it. Alright. So go ahead, Briar. Your turn. <laughs> I I I give you the explanation, Bryce, in the upper chat. Yeah, talk about your character, the characters, that, the two characters that you want to talk about. Okay, so all right, I'll help you explain, Briar. So starting off, Briar is one of is legitimately Exidia's first adopted daughter. Technically, his first adopted child since he found her in a tavern when he was actually traversing realities. Now go ahead, Gar now go ahead, Briar. Um, that was the tavern that you found her in. Was for clarification, I don't think it ever explained it in the video, but the tavern that she was found in was from her time frame in reality. Wait, what? You know the tavern that Ning Zidier found Briar that was from her time. Yeah, which again, she was three at the time, and that tavern was being taken care of by Millennia, if anybody knows Elden Ring, but go ahead. I guess to explain her parents, um, Briar's parents is. Silver was Silver the Mazaku before you got erased. Um, that all let you explain is a, higher, uh, a Mazaku is a higher demon in the Yu Yu Hakusho franchise, and Silver was a part mm -hmm. of that. Uh, the Silver in her reality is a part of that um, family line before he got erased. By I'm not saying what, I'm not saying what yet. Some of you guys might know, and her mother. Uh, her mom is Queen Serenity from Sailor Moon. Correct. So yeah, yeah that's kind of, so that's kind of like what her parents are. Mm-hmm. The the reason why Briar wasn't with her parents, I guess what? I can just call it a tragedy. Kind of happened at on Silver Millennium that kind of forced Briar to, I guess, get misplaced. I guess. How would you explain it? Misplace? Moses? You can't pull the Moses? What would you call it? Uh, Ning, Dad, I was talking to you. What do you say? What do you call it? Oh, wait, what? Moses? Ning, why are you getting displaced from the, from Silver Millennium? Where would you, what would you say that was? He just getting misplaced or... Basically, basically, this place just means that she's no, she, um, she lost her, she lost, she lost her heritage for a bit while her parents were gone. Yeah, thankfully, though, as seen in the Silver Millennium video, Silver Millennium was just there. However, for anybody who doesn't, who knows Sailor Moon, there was the A Thousand Years of Peace, 
after the calamity that happened with the Earth, the Earth trying to Queen Barrel trying to get the Earth to uprise against the Moon. Mm-hmm. However, in Barbara's timeline, that thousand years was that. Well, let me ask you so, a second. Queen Serenity, from what I remember talking with Dad, is called the Thousand Years of Silence because. Mm-hmm. Queen Serenity during that time was put to sleep. She was put to sleep to keep her protected so that nothing would happen to her after Silver was erased because again, Silver himself was the only most power was the most powerful thing protecting their kingdom, but since he was gone and all of their royals were gone as well, the only thing that they could really do was put her to sleep so that she could so that the Silver Lydium could be like protected. And there's also, there's also technically other rapid holes we could talk about, like involvement between Digimon. We could talk about. Uh, we can't we talk, talk about that stuff yet. We could talk about Nicole, yeah. though. Yeah. Um, I guess to explain my version of Nicole, um, do you still have the image of Nicole? Yes, I do. I have all the. Um, Nicole was a. Was a version of. Was an AI. Is the AI from? Was she originally from Sad AM? Right? Yes. She was originally from Sad AM. I mean, however, my Nicole was that after something kind of happened in her reality to the point where she well, kind of got. Actually, it was more along the lines of Exidia gave her to you. That's what the original story was. Yeah. And she technically, after a while, kind of got was technically abandoned before she showed back up in the computer. But over time, as she was kind of in the computer, she kind of slowly started to lose her personality. Well, that's because but, um, Nicole is actually funny enough that no- is technically a hypothetical version of Nicole from the Nightmare series, but her mm-hmm. Sally got possessed by the god by a highest goddess named Stitchlight. So. Nicole mm-hmm. was a band, so Nicole was actually protected by Exidia, but Exidia had no use for her, so she's kind of been asleep for 1,000 years, but when Briar came, Exidia kind of gave her to Briar. Yeah. And she got turned into a Digimon. Uh, so. It was mostly because Exidia was, trying to, was experimenting with different realities as he was absorbing things, so he kind of gave her more of a mm-hmm. physical a better physical existence from just being a hollow lynx so that's how she gained her physical form so yeah technically speaking nicole's dreams of absolution nicole but pretty much i think that's the only two characters that i think i can explain unless you want to deep dive to lanetta oh, lanetta duh. well again i would have to bring in the sucker for love thing and i have something yeah, that's not really much to deep dive. Let's just say that Lanella is just the female version of Cthulhu that Exidia fought. And they kind of already um, got a lot of information about that anyway, so yeah. But anyway. So yeah. Um, uh, let's see. Who else? Cap, we need to, well, yeah, at some point, me and Cap need to actually go over his characters. Gabby, technically, too. Crystal's already gone. Destiny, do you huh? have a char- Do you have any characters to talk about? No. No. Okay. I, I got a couple. Uh, you're, you, okay, so first starting off with Gabby. Boy. Well... Hmm. I have a, I have a, I have an entire character named Ruby, but I think, but I, I created her, my created her, and she's, mm-hmm. but she's trying to, I think she's trying to kill me, and it's funny, but, but luckily execution will deal with her, and she was blushing, with, which, I know, I know how sipping that love name, hmm. Well, basically execution kind of took her in as his. It's and she's because hmm? of because of how possessive EXEs are, so execution for actually for once actually stole her pretty much. Oh, okay. Anyways, <clears throat> and also Bluey is a is a biter. 
Well, you better watch out. <laughs> You're also a biter. Anyway. I wasn't. Sure, Gabby. Anyways, go ahead, Cat. Uh, Cat, let's talk about the croc, the king croc himself. Oh boy. This ought to be interesting. Mm -hmm. As long as he said, my dear old buddy pal, my, my big buddy buddy. Uh, oh, he said uh, skip he him. He said skip him, okay. Uh, sorry, Cap. Uh, let's see. Uh, go ahead, Looney. Just two characters, okay? Okay. I These are actually two I picked because these are actually two specific other ones because I, I could go over the, my main one, but that's the one you know already know because it's the first thing you see when you know me as Looney. So I'm going over to one OC and one AU version. Comet and... First I'm going to go over Comet. You probably know... Oh, well, I probably know why am I saying. Some people probably do know him on my channel, so do from, like, Dreams of Absolution. He's the son of Exidior and Amy.exe. He's actually, he actually has a kind of interesting backstory that he tried uh, protecting the, his family and in the process he got hurt, but Exid uh, couldn't, didn't want to give up and actually had to revive him through this machine, like this machine for a few months. Uh, wait, what? That is new. Uh, in the store. <laughs> Yeah, it's part of the story. It's part of the story because it, 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 that was his son. Like, that's his son. He didn't want to give up on him. Um, and a lot of people or in his family thought he was dead for a few... for a while. And then they found out a lot sometime late... sometime later... And then actually a whole thing happened where they actually he gets revived and stuff, and he's the car the guy you know now. He's sort of like a why, sort of like a wild card compared to the uh, main OC Toon Landed, where he's much more wilder and kind of more more loony than Toon Landed did, which is where he's more calm and stuff uh, sometimes. Also, he's a person who loves space stuff, and he likes, um, he's an interdimensional person who also saved, in the story, he actually saved some of the characters, some of the BED characters you see on my channel and stuff, mm -hmm. from that other, from a dimension called the Bad EXE dimension. But, and he has a wife and a kid, like a wife and some kid, a kid. Adopted a kid in London. His wife actually has some kids. He's actually has twins and stuff. There is going to be a lot more story revealed about him later on, but all I can tell you is it's going to have some really emotional moments in it. That's fine. Yeah, so I might as well move on to the AU, most people. A good people, a good bit people actually know from my channel, Rusty. Uh, yeah, the Rusty Rose one, which I don't have, so you have to put that in the open chat. Wait a sec, let me do that real quick. You have Comet, right? No. Wait, wait a sec. Yeah, you gotta put both of those in. Uh, <sighs> and, then, and then next is gonna be Lucy because I have to talk about her. I need a gold. Huh? Nothing. You got a coat? That's what you said? No. No, because it is too cold, so I get myself warm. Mm, okay. Thanks. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Oh shit. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. 
All right, really, as you get as you get the render, what do you explain about your version of Rusty? Okay, this version is um actually kind of has its own story. She was found. Uh, it's actually a version which she was found found by Toon Land and Star, the uh the the gender bit version of of Comet, which is Toon Land's uh, girlfriend slash to be wife soon. <laughs> um. And they actually found her in a land, actually a junkyard, and they took her in and actually had her fixed up by ta- by tails. And they brought her in and took her as her own, which that that was their first adopted child. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and sometime later they actually found, actually got her body back from the um, from. That universe where she came from, the egg, like the egg, um, the egg. What is that team from the Sonic Prime again? I keep forgetting. Oh, the Egg Council. Yeah, and then some help, self from Tails and Egg Dude. They actually, um, actually formed her buyback and actually gave. He made it. Sure, she could actually live in with both the robotics and her natural body. So, and that's how, technically, that's how that happened. But she, the reason why she has no clothing in this version, version, she just feels like she wanted to have that feeling again of being back in her body. Again, Sally is also doesn't wear clothes, technically. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, but I wanted to make it feel like this for this character. It feels special for her because, well, she's been a robot for a long time. She's been a robot for a long time. So if you got your body back, if you were a robot a cyborg and you got your body back, you would want to feel that again. Yeah. Yeah. And interesting about this version, I decided to make her a little bit more interesting give her like uh she now is more like a teen teen white deliver life but still has her own spunk and Wait, she also is sort of like an inspector gadget thing okay also i post her emo in the chat oh, I and it is. I, decided, I decided to make her a little it's a little interesting i decided to make her a lesbian <laughs> That's fine. A lesbian. Which she likes girls. That's fine. I thought it would be an interesting spin. And I, if you actually notice about the design, it's actually a flip on the original design of Rusty. Where that one, it was mostly robotic and the barely organic. the only thing that was probably organic. Yeah, and it's a flip on that where the body in... Most of her is organic, but she has, still has robotic, oh, so robotic shit. parts about it. I oh. wanted to make that a little bit more in, uh, sort of poetic in a sense. Mm-hmm. But anyways, um, real quick, uh, Cookie Jar just <laughs> co- this outs um, Uko as a prison simp. That's yeah, I read that. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot to say. Yeah, pr- Rusty is also pr- because of um, Prism Sonic. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Um, I'm sorry. Prism EXE. That. Yeah. Yeah. Add that to the list. Yeah, I'm adding. I'm adding that to the list. One thing I should know. To Rusty. Continuing on. Rusty. I'm sorry. Rusty. One big thing that a lot of people in this Discord, in our dis- the, uh, Dreams of Solution Discord, knows Rusty is a simp. As Rusty is everybody is a... in my Discord at this point, almost. Yeah, uh, Rusty is a simp for cute no, and I'm pretty simp. girls. I said yeah. almost. Yeah. I Rusty is a. Yeah. Rusty is a scent for pretty and cute girls. Okay. 
All right, now then, back to what I wanted to say about Lucy here. Lucy is from a important project that my friend Shadowflare actually created, which is called the Spee Hog, which I can't go into too much details without his little input. So if he wants to talk about that when he when he gets the chance to, he can't. But she will be in the Persona stream, specifically the dancing all night once we actually get there. Or I think it's, it's either streams or, yeah, definitely streams. Um, so, yeah, look forward to her. Let's see. To make it short, she's a speed hog. She's a breeder, but she's very chill. You know, she can be playful, can be a tease, but she is strong and she protects herself. So yeah, and, and she has a very tim, a very attractive design, as you guys can mm -hmm. plainly see on here. Yes, she does. As do all speed hugs. <laughs> yeah, which we can get to those a little later, especially <laughs> some of us. Anyway, later on in the future, we might be seeing a we might be seeing a couple of them. <laughs> especially couple of what? A little speed hoggers, but anyways, the next person, uh, Nova, would you like to talk about three characters that you have? Sure, only a true character because I don't want to, I don't want to say many. Uh, how about uh, just two that you're that just two that you uh, um, well, technically, how about the one that you technically introduced already on my channel and then another one? Okay, for X Roses. Which, let me get her stuff. I know I, for a fact <laughs> I have exorosis everywhere, but anyway. Of course you do. Okay, I'm gonna go, go with this one. Okay, go ahead, but go ahead and talk about exorosis. Okay, exorosis, if, uh, uh, first off, uh, can you guys hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. <laughs> So, Exodus is, uh, she's the highest uh, from Ashley Demon, like from the version itself, like Xavier and Amy Rose's body. But she, she's, a, she has the same power for X, for Xavier, but from the normal universe, from the, from like the type of Nightmare Universe dimension. But she's a very, um, how can I say? She's really curious, but she emotionless because, yeah, from a backstory, but I don't need to say here. But yeah, but she's can't, but she do feel everyone's emotion is the pain from her attitude mode. But she's a very curious and, and really love about with Xavier stuff. Mm hmm. And again, she don't she don't like call herself sometimes as as a goddess, but she's more professional and she wants to be call herself as a queen. Yeah, Exidia is the only one that calls her a goddess, and that's mostly because he's slightly teasing her, but also because he respects her. Since yeah, he exactly. The he and her are, as you can see, are a thing. Mm hmm. So yeah, so that's what I want to say. But I will keep more information for Exorcist maybe for soon and another drawn or the number of video I'm gonna make. But I'm not sure Exorcist can turn as a scarlet form like Exilia. Yeah, I cannot wait for that. Mhm. Mm that's gonna be. Uh, a, a little... mm, okay. Yeah, true. <laughs> I was gonna mm. no, sorry. Not to say that. And the last character for, from the video you saw, guys, is about the bunny girl. Uh, the bunny girl, she's a very funny, shy, but very curious girl because no wonder how people uh, from me. How many friends or someone of have you that call Bunny for some reason? But she's a very, for Bunny girl, she's a very mysterious girl as a human, but as a bunny as well. But she has a lot of stuff to learn about herself. But she's a very, very scary girl because she starts to make sound on the UFC, but she don't want to uh, punish herself. 
mm. with a meter pad EXE for more security. So, <laughs> which is funny considering the fact that she's legitimately just in the video with the with the worst one. And anyway, yeah, <laughs> yeah, all star one. She's a real, she's a one worst. So yeah, but that's why. Um, and she's really nice to me to another people with the good EXE, the normal characters. She's had a good communication and, and she doesn't mind about that. But only if she step away from the trouble EXE one and the bad EXE. Mm -hmm. But and last thing about for Benigo. She really loves every fluffy um, type, of, type of character or any animal because she's like she's love every rabbit among every rabbit creatures because she's a bunny as well. In more ways than one, anyways. Um, anyway. <laughs> yeah. So more story about her maybe on the future. Yep. Yep. All right, next would be Makoto. If you want to talk about Makoto. Mm. I, know, I know that you want uh, to talk about your version of Mako uh, Makoto Yuki. Yeah, hold on, give me a minute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, miss a reload. I'm checking some shit. <laughs> because I don't know if I have to explain entirely, like mo mostly P3. Uh, no, you don't explain mostly P3, just explain why he's here. Uh, and what's going on with him, like nowadays? Like, what's he been up to and all that? I only <laughs> ever decided to do. Uh, this because no one ever seems to do good, uh, fucking, uh, fan work of if he was even alive. Correct. And I had also had the idea of doing crossovers with it. Uh, let me, let me find the list of what I had. I know I had Blaze Blue, you know, the cross tag battle. Then there was, uh, it was Ruby, and then uh, and the Legend of Zelda. Those are my three main things for Why him as of right now. Why did you say his fingers? Wait. Uh, uh, you say his hands and fingers. Uh, that wasn't my fault. That was when I was trying to make him a PNG, and then that shit happened. <laughs> Look in the open chat. Oh yeah, his finger. Oh yeah, the fi his finger and his other hand are, are, were are transparent. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I could just send. I could. I could send a picture of, of like his in his casual wear. Let me find a picture. There we go. Oh, there's Omegas. I mean, not Omegas, but. Yeah, there's there's Ninja wear. That is a re that is a reference pi picture, right? Uh, no, I shouldn't. There he is, Makoto Yuki, the protagonist for Persona Three, and technically the one who sacrificed himself to seal away Nyx. And no, he's not a fucking door. Anyway. <laughs> no, as, as as much as I love the joke whenever I was in the fucking community, let it die at this point. It's been like how many years? Let it die, let it die, yeah, let, let it die. die. Uh, uh, well, let it. Blood you, stained death. Okay, there you go. I, but, you, but you do know that when, when you do know that when the when the reload version of uh, the answer comes out, that the joke is gonna come back, right? Uh... The joke, well, the think. joke hasn't died yet. So, what do you mean, come back? Yeah, I said it's got, it's got, it's got to come back in, in, my, um, strong, in a stronger sense. It's, it's gonna come back with a vengeance, anyway. Yeah. Anyways, aside from that, I'll kill anyone who says the joke. Anyway. Oh. 
besides the crossover mentions, what else was there? Oh, yeah, he's gonna. I am planning to have him go through the Ruby World, mainly because it's gonna tie into the um cross type battle shit that happens in the game. Due to the fact that apparently Blue is Blue is the uh it's the fucking conundrum of it all. Because we have to play that game, we have to go to that game since it's technically can't. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, I will say, though, for the Ruby stuff, I'm not going to entirely follow how how all the volumes are. I'm mostly going to combine shit because, honestly, yeah. I, I did not I did not like volume four through eight. Well, volume four through nine is a fucking pacing. Understandable. I think that's all. Okay. Now, Queen. Let's talk about Queen. Okay, so... Um, Queen is basically the leader of um, the Dream Concourse. The one that was formed when um, she escaped from sex slavery. And uh, she oh, even found her... <laughs> <laughs> she even found her half sister Pearl, who, who helped her form the team, because they've been through a lot. Um, you know, Queen's mother Diamond was the one who verbally abused um, Pearl when uh, she got with her father, and her father turned out to be just like her. Um, basically, um. Carl, Queen's father, who abused her badly, and of course Queen doesn't even give her any excuse to like be controlling towards Queen and then abruptly abuse Pearl, which caused Pearl to run away after she was born, and a lot of things. And basically, now that Queen is here and uh, Pearl and uh, the others are here, which I know it's supposed to be too, but. Anyways, um, Queen's basically pregnant with Execution's child, Twilight, despite all the battles that she had to face because she was pregnant. And, um, of course, Pearl, I'm not even sure how she's going to find love after she escaped from OMT, after mm -hmm. all, <clears throat> all were nearly killed by Zero, and um, other things. So I think that's about it. That's about it. Are we hold on, I am an idiot. I forgot Queen. <laughs> Let me give everybody a rendition on what Queen the Hedge I'm Queen the Hedgehog. I almost said Hedge Cat. What the fuck? I think I was about <laughs> <side>. <laughs> 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 that was too many hedge cats for so long. I'm thinking about my son right now, that's why. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, here she is. The, sh the short queen herself, anyway. The short queen. Oh my God. She knows what pretty. Also, I have a picture of her half-sister, Pearl. If you want to see that. Go ahead, put it in the open chat. Okay, there she is. Oh, brown eye. That's what the color. I had to, um, like, open it, but yeah, there it goes. <laughs> All right, now this would be Shadow Flares, if you would like to talk about anything. Well, shit, because one of them has way too much lore to talk about. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and it's going to be hella hard to condense. <laughs> There's a shit ton of lore. Um, okay, see, God damn, my name's been called. Hold on. Ah, oh, god damn it. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and I don't Hi, Mani Hi, Manita. Ah. Hi, yeah. baby. Uh, hey, um, false, yes, false alarm. Amelia has joined the game. Also, false alarm. Oh, okay, go ahead, Jared, then. I'll start off with a short one first, but I had to also be vague about it because it's a character that's whose lore is still being exposed, and that is uh, going to be Experiment 1187, aka 
Cat the nap. other cat nap. Mm -hmm. And yes, people, the one in the video is not Theodore. There's a difference. Yes, which, hold on. I got the pictures, don't I, Jerry? I have or... the pictures. Remember, I have the pictures and shit. Alright, but I'm also yeah, making sure I have the pictures, Let me open the Discord uh, <laughs> my phone real quick, because I didn't save on my PC yet. Also, Do you want me to send you those pictures? What? I said, also, I need, oh, I really need a new mouse because my mouse is fucking me over, but go ahead. And what, com and what, dude, don't worry. If you send pictures already, I'll get them while they're in the open chat. Oh, I was going to say, do you want me to send you picture the other character renders in, like, the open chat in your DMs? No, I will grab them from the open chat. Okay. You will grab them. I'll send, like, the other ones Nova did. <laughs> Alright, for picture wise, here is Experiment 1187, who appeared in two videos and one str and one stream technically so far. Correct. Uh, the main thing you just need to know about him is, is the fact that he is technically one of the uh, versions that came before Theodore um, <laughs> catnap and is still around um, and kind of has to deal with the, I guess, the bullshit that goes on in the facility of the uh, playtime of Coco. So, it's right. I can give right now, or else I'll be going into uh, spoil spoiler territory because there are some things I need to keep hidden about him for right now until showing off until later. So hold your horses for that shit. Mm -hmm. I can't hold my horses. Yeah. Oh my, oh my god. god. <laughs> uh, of course, Luca's ready to breed. But the main <laughs> thing is to know that um that to get out of the way with uh, is the fact that when these guys are turned into these things, they're technically still organic. They just have a plushy base skin and re re reconstructed out out outer and inner body. That's that really sounds familiar. And actually they're still living like us, just toyetic. Toyetic. Yeah. Yeah. Toys are a hell of a jug. Oh my <laughs> fucking god. No, Anyways. that's that sounds familiar, but I'm not gonna say it. Tell me that he's not joking. Oh my god. <laughs> you, 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 you. But okay, so now is the one that um I wish I was here for the last fucking um stream to fucking actually talk a little bit about, but because uh, that one question that it was not there for, which I wish I was fucking there for. God damn it! Oh my god, Jared! <laughs> I'm gonna fucking go over because I, I wish I was there for that. I know, but it's probably the one character that most people will know me on this ch on uh, his channel for that also got a slight exposure of mine, which is my AU Sonic Dream Sonic or Sonic the Hedgehog from the Project Dream AU. Oh my god! Yeah, oh, no, 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 no. We were all waiting for it. <laughs> and the Ocot Squeak Dream Sonic. Now, there's one thing I need, I need to get out of the way. Just because he looks like a contemporary Sonic, oh, shit. that's kind of the point. He's it's a, it's more of a trickery thing that he looks like that, but there is more to him than meets the eye. AKA Transformers joke here, anyway. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Um, yeah, in disguise. The main anyway. thing with uh, this guy is the fact that aside from having similar adventures that you see from the game stuff, the comics, etc., he does go through some extra own things of his own, which I have dropped before a few times in the streams that he currently is being mentored by one of the Japanese mythology deities, Izanami, the gods of creation, earth, and of course the doctrine of the dead. We love him, so, by the way. There's definitely extra stuff going on. Uh, as for things of what he does and such, he's the usual, you know, always going on adventures and doing whatever he feels like he wants to try because there's always something new that he wants to see. Because who doesn't want to fucking you know, just go out and explore? I know. Hey, Chugs like in disguise. Of course, of course, he would like to tell him himself. No, Doug. <laughs> My God. <laughs> I don't like exploring. It's scary. It's safe. So, of course, oh, though. God damn it, I just heard what Uko just said. Of course, also the fact that this uh, Sonic is born naturally. Let's get that part out of the way. Um, for those who are going to be assuming shit, uh, Jules and Bernadette from the Archie stuff, they don't exist here. Whatsoever. Neither does Queen Alina, because I haven't had any plans for that shit. So honestly, none of the usual origins we see in Sonic are canon in my thing. Mm -hmm. At all. Mm -hmm. they, they just don't exist. Because his thing, uh, as far as he, know, know, as far as he could originally remember before 
06 and Generations, which I will mention that in a second, he would kind of just appeared on an island as a baby as he was found by Longclaw, yes, from the movie continuity, because she exists in, in this world. And he was just kind of just raised up and adopted by Longclaw and and Charles Hedgehog, which you guys may know as Uncle Chuck. But here's the thing, they're not related. Yeah, at all. Could like, you? But there's a reason why he only just suddenly appeared out of nowhere. He technically isn't really born. Like, in the sense that he actually didn't have any actual parents. Like, when I went to the whole no parents thing, he legit had no parents. <laughs> legit. He was he just burst into existence. Legit. Straight up. All thanks to the power of chaos and other shit that happened. Let's the just say power that of bullshit. To dumb it down, <laughs> some fucked up shit happened on uh, on his end before the birthing process thing happened, which then led to a Genesis wave happening, rewriting everything to the point that uh, that even his own existence got rewritten. AKA the chaos emerald skeeted all over creation. Yeah, so technically there's more to the song than meets the eye. Again, as I said earlier, there's just more joking start here. It's for me. Hedgehogs <laughs> in disguise. So let's just say that he's basically a Sonic <laughs> that also isn't a Sonic at the same time because he technically has two different sets of memories. Well, now three as of an arc I've hinted about a little bit in the past. <laughs> Hedgehog Jesus, I mean what? It was all the dream. Sonic Jesus! Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I now want to see that. I want to see him in a fucking Jesus outfit now. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay first off, the inspiration for that particular tidbit was actually more of a reference to Anakin Skywalker, actually. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the man of culture, I see. But that's basically all, that's basically all you need to know because other than that, um, with his speed, he can pretty much fucking blitz most majority of characters anyway. And here's Ruby, but anyway, yep, there you go. Also, can I... Super that's, pretty, that's, pretty, that's pretty much all you need to know right now because that's kind of like the only real thing you actually need to know. Everything else you could just learn from you, just talking to him in the stories or such or in live streams. Correct. Now, May, make uh, your revenge of the Sith oh, funny. Hey, I, I, I want to... And I want to... I know Jerry already said it, but I want to have Gar Five because that would be because this because this always gets written because always gets messed up constantly. What? He wasn't so, clarified. So, so I want to clarify something because this is always a mistake that always tends to happen every single time, and you know what I'm talking about, Jared. Even though you already said it before. Um, Sonic from the Project Dream Universe is specifically Jared's personal AU. He's not from he's not from Sills. AAU or anything. He just I, I know. my stuff because I, of the parody verse. Yeah. I've already clarified <laughs> that um, Dream Song is, is of my creation. It's one of the fact that the only reason why he appeared on Still's Things first is because um, it's because I, I was taking a long time of reviving my channel back. Yeah. Yeah. But I, 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 I want to reiterate because because that's a con because that's a common mistake that keeps happening even if we, even after we said it. Anthology. Anyway. Sorry. I just wanted to do that. I always wanted to do that. He's running the, the, the after the disclaimer that should be mentioned is the fact though, do not confuse Dream Sonic for other Sonics. Not every Sonic on every YouTube channel is the exact same character. They're all hey, different Sonics from a different universe. Mm-hmm. Neither of them have history or anything. This applies to all characters that you see in videos. Not a majority of them will be the same. It's very yes. me. Yeah, for example, <laughs> Sonic, some Sonics like wieners, some don't. Stop. There you go. Honestly, I already knew the whole time. I knew the whole time. I just stay quiet no, about I, it. I, no, I'm, I'm saying that for the audience's sake because uh, I will to do this right now. A lot of you guys need to start telling the difference between like people's own versions of the characters 
and then you know cameos of actual people's uh, other characters popping in because there is a difference. <laughs> All right, but now I don't listen. I know you're watching, mm. Makoto. I'm gonna kick you anyway. He, uh, <laughs> he knows knows I think you magic. Wait, what did you say, Jared? <laughs> All I said is North Neck person since I'm over. Time to talk about your your own AU version of Hog. Yes, talk about Hog. Oh, oh, oh. Also, right. put, also put Hog's thing in the um, that you made yep, in the yeah, open yep, chat. Yep, picture in. All right, I got it. Yeah, because my freaking I, I, my freaking I, I, mouse I, I, is killing me right now. There you go. <laughs> All right. Where do I begin? Alright. My hog comes from an AU I'm working on with my friends. It's called the True Serenity AU. My hog basically follows the same canon story-wise as the original hog. He, like all hogs, he has a Sonic inside of him. And not in that way which you think. I'm thinking that way thank you. <laughs> And the thing is, don't go that way because it'll make people think about it. Yeah, I sorry. Just say the info and continue with it. Go ahead. Ow, 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 I was sitting on my feet. Ow. Oof. I'm okay. Gabby. Gabby got on mute. Sorry. It's all right. Sorry. It's all right. Uh, I forgot to put the mute on. Yeah, he's going ahead. What show is that? Yeah, continue with that. Um... All right. And like all hogs. This hog likes corn dogs. He has a best friend named Prowler. And uh, I added some different details to my hog. For instance, instead of being afraid of water, he's afraid of needles. He loves swimming in the water. In fact, he always loves to go in the pool. But he hates needles. He hates anything sharp. Mm. And the thing is, though, like his cannon, his world was... His world was destroyed by Sonic, but was revived by my OC, the moderator, as we call him for now. Which, because... Okay, I'm a little nervous. Forgive me. Okay. My mo the moderator showed Sonic the errors of his ways and the different perspectives throughout the multiverse, the, the rights and wrongs, which made Sonic, a.k.a. Scorched, begging for forgiveness, wanted to beg for forgiveness. To do so, he needed to drop out his blood, the moderator needed a heart, and Hog's soul. With that combined, it revived Hog. It took a while for Hog to forgive Sonic, but in due time, they became friends. Though, my Hog still suffers nightmares from time to time, because he's heavily reminded at the fact that he lost everything, including his friends. Nobody remembers the tragic accident. Only he does, and he has to carry that burden. Okay. Thought... He thought his life would continue on, just carry on, carrying on this burden for the rest of his life. But that all changed when he found the multi ring. And if anyone doesn't know what the multi ring is, is this the, the multi ring? Is... Go ahead. Uh huh. The multi the multi ring is a powerful artifact that allows the user to transport to different dimensions, different universes, different multiverses, etc. It's like the army tricks, but replaced with multiversal traveling. <laughs> sorry. No, sorry. It also contains. 
He's good. He's good. It also oh. contains a powerful angel within, which allows Hog to gain divine power. And the, with that multi ring, it allows Hog to transport to different multiverses, which gives Hog the chance to grow. It may seem like he's just Hog, but he's not. He's more than that. He's a Sonic, and there's more to him than meets the eye. Sorry, Jared. Don't worry. We accept. There's four moves. Four moves in these days. And Hog has to be. And Hog will meet many friends along the way. Like, so far, he's met Elijah. And he's been adopted into a family. Elijah's family. He has a brother. He has new brothers and a new mother. And heck, a new father. And, don't and a new grandfather. It. And don't forget what I, and don't forget what his fa grandfather said. Fuck, what did he say? What did he call Hog and Sonic? His champion. Oh, he called... Exidia calls Hog his champion. Because Exidia sees most Sonics and technically this technically fits for Hog as well, but basically as his champions because of what Chaos and because of how in tune with Chaos Sonic is. I mean, uh, I mean, Hog in a version of Sonic. Correct. Mm hmm. And the thing is. Hog has to. Hog, along with many of his followers and friends, will have to deal with a multiversal threat, which we'll get onto that later on. Correct. But after that, there will be more stories for Hog to go through, more journeys, more adventures. Mm -hmm. Because, like I said, my Hog isn't an ordinary Hog, he has mm -hmm. so much potential that bursts like. Like a star, you know? Yep. Mm -hmm. And uh, in fact... Mm -hmm. Sorry. No, I was gonna say, sorry. I was gonna say, yeah, close, I was gonna say closing thoughts. Yeah, any closing thoughts? No, that was... If anyone anyway. says that I can't... Huh? I, I, it's, no. it's, it was for everyone for you. That was, I mean, I was saying, I was saying bring it home, basically. Continue, continue, oh, continue. Uh, did you see to say? Did you see to say? Go ahead. If anyone talks badly about my hog and says that he's not the original hog, well, you're right. He's not the original hog. So get off my back about it. Uh, cat, that, that dude. <laughs> Okay. Remember, n not everybody here has the original Sonic, so you're good. Yeah, what I come back to? Uh, he, he was saying basically, if people say his hog isn't the original hog, but I was just like, uh, don't worry, we don't. Not everybody think, has the original Sonic, so you're tripping. So yeah, you're fine. I, I, I think uh, the reason I, that the, the original one does this. Type 51 multiverse, everything's canon. There you go. Yeah, here's the thing, though. I I know why he, the thing that thing happened. Well, he said that it's because there are some people who are way too stuck with the original canon. Yes, they are. But at the moment, there is no again, original canon. Again, again, Eric is canon. Leave it at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at the moment, there's no original canon. So, fuck it. But anyways, here's the here's the character sheet for. Oh no! Uh, go ahead. The look, there's one more thing. Seven inches. What the fuck? God damn! He's a goddamn Lakers player. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> nervous as hell. I just re you're good. I just realized what Jared just said, though. <laughs> like fucking. What about? I know that what boy about should be hooping. Players? That boy should be hooping right now. <laughs> <laughs> he should go get Michael. <laughs> he should be dunking people. <laughs> the next person I want to talk about is the very person that saw that hog has to fight. I don't have a PNG of him. This is all I got so far, which was drawn by Mel and colored by me. His oh, wait, name... did you talk about him before? Yeah, I did talk about him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sh yeah, sh you should show yeah, show him up to everyone, actually. Cause yeah, it, it, I think it's in the overjet. Everybody's looking at it right now. 
No, not the picture, like the character information. Oh, okay. Oh, right. Is it... Like... <clears throat> this is infinite. Or, to clarify, infinite Sonic. But he likes to be called infinite and not to be compared by a Sonic due to the fact that he's harboring his body. This infinite isn't the equivalent to anyone. He's like the original infinite from the Sonic Forces game. He likes being considered strong. He likes displaying fear, pain, and suffering of others. And he likes being superior to all. And like all infinites, he harbors the Phantom Ruby, which creates illusions. Mm -hmm. And makes them real. He likes causing destruction. And like all infinites, he craves absolute power. And he used to be part of the Eggman Empire. But after the war, Eggman discarded him like garbage. And was trapped in the Phantom Ruby. And due to uh, anomalies caused by the Phantom Ruby... Another Sonic had to investigate. And when Sonic picked up the Phantom Ruby, that Sonic was trapped in his own body. And with that, Infinite has caused chaos in Sonic's world. He destroyed everything that Sonic held, held dear and loved, including his friends. He even cracked Eggman like an egg. Like, literally. Like, his insides were like... Ugh. Oh, uh, Humpty Dumpty got fucked. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Go ahead. With his... <laughs> no, say go ahead, Venomous. He also killed Shadow for making him feel weak. I guess he's the name of my life like... anymore. My God! <laughs> he felt like if he killed his old school bully, he would feel superior. That's what yeah, I'm basically yeah, saying. Man. He also, while in Sonic's body, he learned how to harness the power of the Chaos Emeralds, and with that, learning how to de de learning how to dimensional hop, and he discovered that other infinites like him have lost to Sonic, and he didn't want to fall like they did. So. He, he, that's when something came to him. What if he can take things from others like he took from Sonic? So, during his excursion throughout the multiverse, he absorbed many of Sonic's adversaries, like Neo Metal, Chaos, Nazo, Razor Jin, Mephiles, Iblis, uh, uh, Arthur. It's, it's hard to explain. The Ibulus trigger. Oh my god. I meant to say Ibulus. <laughs> he also okay. absorbed the Time Eater and many EXCs along his travels. And with that much power he has gained, he decided to test it out. And what better way to use it than on a Sonic that was most vulnerable? Well, like Mel mentioned, thanks to her ideas, she found a Sonic that was most vulnerable, as when at the time, he took on the cyber corruption too much. And he used that opportunity to trap that Sonic into the void. Which explains my hog. Yeah, that's what, that's what, yeah, that basically is the origin for a hog lit, a hog boy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I did to say hog lit, I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. <laughs> hog lit? It's okay, man. Basically, this infinite fucked over this Sonic's life. And that's how Sonic's Hog story began, and which gave more motivation to Hog and Sonic to stop Infinite before he hurts anyone else. That reminds me of something, Jared. Hey, and the thing is... Sorry. No, uh, no, you're good. Just look uh, me for a second. It was it. It, it was it was something you were telling me about dream a, a long time ago. That's why. Uh, <laughs> and it has to do anyway. With, it has to do with a certain job. Sorry. 
Anyway. Okay, how about we after, after, after Venice explains things? I want to actually let him explain his shit. Alright, go ahead, dude. Anyway. After, after Hog's world was restored thanks to the moderator, Infinite was pissed. Be because after he thought that Sonic was finished the job of destroying what Infinite created, it would be all over and he would continue his conquest. Because if Infinite created something, it would be something that could take him down. That's when he discovered the multi-ring. Because the multi-ring is not a normal artifact that can that can be used to travel different multiverses. It's also a way to harness the dark powers that it possesses. You see, the dark powers is it drains the life forces throughout drains the life forces of evil energy throughout the multiverse. Mm. And if infinite and if infinite gains that power he would be very, very dangerous. He'd be like Alien X level. Ooh. Chrono Sapiens. Ooh, yep. And you know how Chrono Sapiens are. They're really dangerous. Little if they just blink... Really dangerous. If they blink, they'll wipe you away. Out of existence. Which is why, which is why Hog is trying to keep the multi ring away from Infinite. Ugh. Nice, 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 nice. So, how did I do? You did great. You did great. I will, I will, I will do. I do one thing. I, I want to actually comment though. Go ahead. Go ahead. I still, and this is mostly for the other to hear, because I know I, I already said this to you, Venomous. I still like the fact you actually referenced something that Sega had to um, add in as a lore tidbit for Infinite in the Psychospedia. That, sure, people don't like the fact that he's trapped in the Ruby forever in the game continuity, but I like the, how you use that to your advantage, though. Like, I still I still like the fact you did that. Well, thank you, Jared. Mm-hmm. Sorry if I kept stammering a lot, though. Yeah, I was very I nervous. Do. I, 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 really good, but I do have a funny for you though. Dude, dude, like I do more, I do more stuttering than you than you do. All right, but go ahead, Jared. Do you find? Yeah, it's, it's mostly funny for venomous. And it's about the 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 celestial sapien um bit. Go ahead. To make you laugh, venomous. Technically, Sonic characters are kind of already a buzz celestial sapien, so you you made it even stronger than already. <laughs> but they do have they do have they do have a very ama amazing hacks though so there's that yeah there's mm -hmm. that is the hat the hacks are the, the real thing yeah other than that though physically they're pretty much above them yep. yeah i i didn't know how to describe the power in oh, no, really you know, no i think you mentioned let's just as a good thing because that's actually a good description mm -hmm. yeah that's a good description and it also shows that you have culture anyway <laughs> Anyways, I better get going. I have dinner uh, to cook. Go ahead. Alright, now it's Zach. Okay, I'm still alive. Okay, now it's Zach the, now it's Zach the hog out of the dead. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. fuck. Here we go with this lore. <laughs> have fun, okay. everyone. Oh, God. We're going to okay, be so... here for all day. Go ahead. <laughs> no, no. First off, I'm going to explain. Hey, sorry, I'm, I accidentally I'm, muted, unmuted my uh, mic for something. You're good. Is that here? Yes. I'm going I'm gonna off the car because I'm going to sleep soon. Alright, dear. Alright. It's, it's good to be a stream. So, have a nice day, everyone. You too. You too. Alright. Alright, anyways. Uh, <laughs> so, so, I, so, I... First, I'm going to explain the one character that people know the most, and that is everyone's favorite, Chalk Boy. Sharky. Yeah, so here... Shark Boy. Hey, Shark Boy. Uh, Where's Lava Girl? Stop. <laughs> My God. I'm, I'm just going to throw Latino onto, onto Uka. There you go. You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> anyways. So, anyways. Um, so, talk about... Of course, the, the boy not to list himself. He... I would say... The, 
development wise, he's pretty much me. He has my personality. Hence why I act how, it, how he normally is, which he can be a big confusion to a lot of people. But by lore wise, he's a he's a he's a great white chart from a tribe and my and my AU, which is the fi the fiction of the parody verse version of uh, Puerto Rico, my home island. He lives. He thought he's a very important. That he lives in, in one of the main forests of the of uh, the island. In one of the centers of, in one of the centers, he he said he he grown up. He grown up the uh decent life as he learned about his about his culture. He was also a good friends with Sonic and Sonic Te, Sonic tells the other when they were li when they were little. Mostly, he mostly been friends with two specific characters. One of them being Amy Rose. The other one, a character that I have. Then, then, then I'm gonna bring in at some point in the future, so make sure to look forward to that. Anyways, <laughs> anyway, anyways, um, so not the least, as, as a kid, he he learned that he has applicant that I that has well, a hydrokinesis that he get that's an ability that only in my universe, only specific, only one, one specific per, uh, person. Learn, uh, has that ability if that is a god I got that I got that live maybe it's a years ago I'm not gonna dump on the name of not the list yes oh yes my my character's name after the god god himself so when they when they when the village realized that he has that ha the hydrokinesis they decided to do a little ritual to to set to so that they can so that he can they can see his soul which they realized that he when they did that ritual, they realized that his soul relates to the original Nautilus. He is coming to the conclusion that he is the, the reincarnation of the god himself. The god, uh, the god from a million years ago reincarnated into a mortal body. And it, it's due to a word that he was more, mortally injured. Now, Nautilus, he still lives the normal adventures, uh, normal adventure that Sonic and Sven said, said. He gets more involved, but he's barely also involved. The other thing that he got more involved is during certain sections of, of the event. But not but his true adventure doesn't start until as as you already know, he met he <laughs> met with it with, with a certain with a certain with a certain theory of of everything, as you guys know. Yeah, I wonder who that is. So, yeah, I wonder who anyways. Yeah, right, right, you go. <laughs> so, so anyway, as you guys as you guys know from my from my video, he went to 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 his own version of Tales' workshop. And he got a little transponder that that helped him go through the multiverse. So what? He, so he currently going. So currently, Lord Wise, he he go. He could go through the Persona universe and Dragon Ball in the Dragon Ball universe as his first two arcs. It's gonna be a bit of a difficulty for me to start the, for me to get the Persona one and get going because uh, because I still need some um, VA for, for most of the characters in there. So. <laughs> I see that. I see that though. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but yeah, not, not that this yet. Uh, was it? It's able thanks to the persona arc. He's able to 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 have close bonds with with certain people that he met. They met there, and, and plus getting more power thanks to the, the persona. But it's only but it's only limited because it's only limited when it comes to the persona. But but the, but that's when the Dragon Ball arc helps for him. That he uh, helps him with, with that with with that with, with that some of our placement. He gained the, he gained certain powers on the Dragon Ball universe that the, that he that he that he got to use it in a lot of his adventures on that ever since ever since uh, since the since the uh, since that arc like for, like if you have seen on parts on Venomous channel. He does use one of his one of the Dragon Ball. Yes, he, he uses some of Dragon Ball powers and transformations to uh, to fight Infinite. So he's currently right now helping Hog and e and Eli and Elijah get ready for Infinite as they form a new team called Team Multiversal Travelers. And and currently now they're he and now currently right now he's spending where where Hog and Elijah to to help them. And that's where the story is getting. And uh, stuff at the at the moment, for well, at least for him. Now, now time for the big one. 
that that one of the recent characters that I, that I'm going, that I have introduced recently. And no, yeah. it's not Latino. It's not. And no, it's not Latino's character because I haven't started his AU yet. I'm only doing it for strength at the moment. The it, is, it is. It is. Spoiler alert. Is the big man himself, my my original OC, Zach the Vampire. So, the, the, so the, uh, I got his fucking render. You fuck. <laughs> you, you know. So Zach, so Zach the so Zach the Vampire was originally a blue hedgehog, just like Sonic. Yes, he looked like Sonic, but there's a story to that. But anyway, so he, so as a, as a child, so as a child, he was born under the. He was born under the rule of. He was born under under the rule of uh King Uther, his father. Yes, he. Yes, that's the. Uh, you guys know your your story. Yes, yeah, that is the father of King Arthur. So he was born from from King Uther himself, but because of his, and he was destined to be the one to carry to carry the the sacred sword Excalibur, but. Because of the because of the corruption that that sometimes that that the scabbard can can withheld with can withheld with with as we all know from Sonic the Black Knight the the power the power can the power can corrupt uh, has corrupted it corrupt can can corrupt him so what Merlin did was that he was going to adopt the the actual version of the actual sack and he made it a uh, magical illusion. That was set. That was going to take the place of Arthur. Hence, hence the big armor ghostly bo- uh, guy from from Sonic the Black Knight. Yes, in that in my universe, that is the fake. The that Arthur is a fake Arthur that was tended to replace to take place of the original Arthur in my universe. So my so Zack was raised uh, was raised along with with Mer- with Marlena. They were like a th- they were adopted siblings. They treated themselves as actual true siblings. So when Merlin passed passed away when they were te- when they both were teenagers, Zack S- and Merlina went on their separate ways. As Zack joined in the the nice of the round table, since he he was a cadet, well he joined the cadet along with with Lancelot, Gawain, and Percival. And yes, Percival could be a, it's a female in my universe as well. So they they they, oh my God. they did a lot of training to get a lot of training to get. It. So eventually they become the knights of the round table. So, so Zack is so uh, as Zack was a, a a knight. He met a a, a female hedgehog, which which I, I won't say the name. Her full name is Marianne the he, the hedgehog, but short for nickname Mary, who was a shrine maiden and uh, a, 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 he was a shrine maiden at a close re- shrine where he. Where he originally lived as Mer- Mer- with Merlin, they and we all know where this is going. They they had they got they got married and well, that's where that's where yeah, the well. Sonic li- that's where the Sonic lineage fu- uh, started. That's where Sonic lineage st- started. So as so, but at one time a war happened. There was a war happening because of Arthur's cur- because of Arthur the fake Arthur's corruption. So he, so um, his wife was part of that. Was part of the casualties for that war because of Arthur himself. So Zack got extremely angry at, got extremely angry at at, at Arthur, but they got, and but Arthur was already there. And sadly, uh, the the fake Arthur betrayed Zack. He uh be, betray Zack. So that he went, so he went on a war on the on the other side to kill King, to kill King Arthur. Only to realize, well, we all know the story of something like the Black Knight. So I'm just gonna skip through that. Let's just say that the sca- when Merlina grabbed the sca- grabbed the scabbard from from Zack, and he became the Dark Queen. One of the lightnings accidentally hit Zack, cursing him to be a vampire, turning him into more of a black he- a black hedge of red eyes. And well, we only know what happens throughout the, the entire thing, so I'm just gonna give Sonic like a black knight. So after after what after after that war happened, Zack no longer sees himself worthy to be the king. So he lets his son uh, to his 
old siblings, the, the other members of the Knights, and Zack went to travel through the throughout went to travel across the entire planet for for years, watching his family coming and go going, until he met, as we know, a a, a certain orange echidna and a and a mutated ch child. Where they oh, had boy. a cloak. Where they where they got oh, a cloak. They made a close bond <laughs> until the whole situation where chaos and the and the Douglas tribe happened. <laughs> so after so after that, Zach has been continuing his travels until he saw his most recent descendant, Sonic the Hedgehog, which he has been what keeping a close eye on his adventures. The one time, yes, that yes, that is what what Jerry says. His 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 actual full name would be Arthur Pendragon. The hedgehog or the vampire at, the, at this case, but he was still called. He still rather have his own his, go by his adopted name, Zach, which is which is Zachary, which is funny with Zachary. But Zach now is that where he finally chose himself, but now as a, as a, as an answer to what during the events of forces. Obviously, he restricted a lot of his power back back because he was because thanks to his adventure, he has grown a lot in power. In power. After that, after the uh, the events of forces, he after the events of forces, he can't, he returned with to call a K and chaos. Yes, they're they're back and they're alive and well as spirits, and they have their own physical body, but they haven't went to heaven as the original cat as the original source material placed it to do. So Zach has been training for six more months after the after the war. And after that, he finally comes back to Sonic and reveals this. And finally reveals his that he's the original ancestor of Sonic. After after that, well, as you can already tell, a certain <clears throat> deity also popped in on his universe. Flying spaghetti monster. <laughs> My God. Flying <laughs> spaghetti <And> monster. <laughs> So that, so, so a certain, a certain god that was able to, uh, met him. They had a real bonding moment because they were because they 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 were led to each other a lot. So and then after that they met, he met Zach's family, and now they took he took him to his home where he met it where Zach met Xavier's family. And we all know what happened afterwards. He met, he met Asriel, the he met Asriel Xavier, and now they had they had a match with, with a certain EXC that we know, and that is where the story is at the at the moment for Zack. Yeah. Also, Xavier had to explain to uh, his descendants why he's screwing like other versions of them. But anyway. Well, especially um, Queen Alicia. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Too bad not Queen Alina, but that's going to come soon. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But anyways, I guess that is it. Everybody has gone, well, except me, but I'm not doing it anyway. Uh, we, we, we all know about your, your characters. No, they don't. At least the ones we've already seen and on the channel. <laughs> well, they still don't know much about execution, but more on that later. Legend, of course, still has his backstory to go through, which... Oh, boy, that one. Mm. Especially, there's when, probably still, especially when we there's have probably... to actually talk about who his, bro who his actual brother was. Hmm. And there's yeah, still Flynn here. Mm -hmm. Oops, sorry. Uh, I was just gonna go well, mostly just like, like, I'm just mostly saying it out loud, like, just thought process. Just hearing everyone's like stories, I, I feel like Jesus. I feel kind of a little bit of the, the one that's different because most, most of the stories I've, I've noticed have been sticking with the sonic scene while mine's is like a lot more a lot more open in a way that like it's not it's not well 
while it's in the medium of Sonic in a way, my stories, especially the main one that I've fact fun fun fact for you guys on um, in the in the chat. My my main story, like the AU that huh? basically my entire like channel is gonna be based off of when I get that done eventually. Um is actually been a long running storyline that I've had ever since I was in elementary and I always had the story developed basically fully developed and completed all the way up to now. And, you know, the characters you guys have been noticing now are just random ones I wanted to make for fun for for Didier and, like, everyone else's content. Because, you know... Uh, you know. <laughs> uh, except, well, except for one, but I don't know if it's the proper time to actually talk about her. Mm. I would say we should hold off on that until later. Yeah. I was only giving I was only giving context saying I barely give any story with my shit. I was trying to keep my shit uh, condensed mostly because of how much fucking lore I put into my sonar. I know. That's why but I mean that's what I was doing myself, but I'm saying more more for mine just like it's not consist. It's not like specific to a certain like you know series. It's just its own actual, its own actual. I'd like to feel original story with certain with certain series and franchises I grew up with that are, while they are part of it, and it's it's more of a way to help develop certain characters and help them go through their story arcs on their you know. Because my stories tend to be more for very character driven and not like anything like major. I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Basically, everyone is everyone is unique in the in everyone unique in their own stories. Let's go. And what now? Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah, I was gonna say yeah, there's still and there's still a lot of characters left to be introduced to the to both our chain. Uh, to the we'll, channel. We will get to that later. We do not have enough time to go over every fucking one. Jesus. Mm -hmm. I know. Yeah. It's just that's, that's, a that's future really thing. Two characters. Yeah, we have only a... F we could do that in the future, like, introduce, mm. um, introduce... Okay, okay, but before we actually go into a tangent on who we can introduce, let's actually steer the question from that. Uh... Yeah. Because we're gonna be here all day if we if we keep bringing it up. Are there any questions? Well, damn, actually, we had so many questions earlier that we kind of had to veto. Yeah. Yeah, but we were yeah. yeah, um, we, we 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 spent a whole hour on this. Yep. Yeah, uh, yep. Yeah, yeah, there were some other questions, but uh, well, we want, but we want you, want, but we wanted to do character explanation. So, I, so can that make sense? Yeah, that's fine. Yep, everybody, everyone, most of everybody wrote uh, told stories. Yeah. Uh, wait, uh, Cap, are you, are you sure you didn't want, you don't want to talk about your, your versions of, of your characters? Uh, no. Okay, then. Well, for people in this the chat, the I was going to I'm just like... <laughs> well, for, yeah. for people in the chat that had questions um, during the whole... Uh, during the you know character explanations and introductions, essentially, the uh, if you guys, yeah, the character spiel. If you had those questions but we didn't get to see them, uh, mind resending them or come up with new ones if you if you have any based on everything we explained. If not, but that's all right, but because... but if you do, do not over question us. The hell is hold on. Well, well, I feel it's only fair. Well, I feel it's only fair that we that they do give us like at least a a couple of questions because we did. I think what he means not... is that don't don't one person be the only one asking multiple questions in a fucking row. I think that's what he mean. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh yeah, no, I, I, everyone has a chance to ask a question, not just one person, please. Yeah. Besides, we got like thirty 
we got like 30 more minutes before we have to kill this with a rusty nail. Ew. Because yeah, we have <laughs> 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 Oh, yeah, I have to. Okay, in terms of the characters, no questions from me so far. Okay. And hell, I, if I went into any more details on what the fuck is going on with Xidia and Silver and the rest of them, we would legitimately be here all day. <laughs> you think I'll bring this up casually during Persona? Okay, okay, well. Mm. I have something to say. I don't know why uh, I checked this stream. Why is my username the only one with just like the little three little dots just behind the first letter? Oh, that, oh, that, oh, that, 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 that's something that happens with, with Streamlabs. And sometimes it'll join tr- out the link when you actually do. When you actually. Uh, hold on. It's not even. It's not just Streamlabs. Discord sometimes fucking does that. No, it, yeah, it's happened when you open up stream last. Also, um, also, um, it happened to Uko as well. Funny enough, mm-hmm. I had to click on her, but and it also happened oh. to me and Briar. Holy shit! But it's not uh, specifically yeah. when you open up stream last. It's just that sometimes Discord can't handle long ass fucking names. I know, no, no, no yeah. but, but mostly for me, it has it happened when specifically I open up stream. Uh, streaming software like OBS, Streamlabs, and XSplit. Also, really? Sydney, also, Sydney and really, it's just my name is just as long as some of y'all. My name is just as long as some of y'all. So why? Yeah, that was another reason why I didn't want to say anything was because I was also making sure no one, uh, anyone had questions, which basically nothing happened. The Grim Adventures of Billy no and Andy. I didn't, yeah, I didn't really see any questions most from because I was also checking the chat during the whole, you know, that shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, so far, most people were just either role playing or talking to each other in the chat. Yep, that was that was again part of the reason why I didn't want to say anything. And yeah, just sit back and listen to story time. Yeah, which is why I which is why I always let them know to at least try to pay attention to to uh, to the stream. Yeah. yeah. Oh, also, if at least your story connects, mine doesn't, so... Lila says, I think <laughs> I will send some kids as to what Asriel will say. Mm-hmm. What the fuck? What was this? Yeah. Okay, long story short, while y'all were story timing, while they were, while Sydney and Lila were having a little, uh, their little cuddle session, Sydney was like, oh, I wonder what happened if Mafia and As were able to see this, what would they react to it? That's essentially what is going on. Yeah, I was noticing that. Thanks, I was Catherine. keeping track. <laughs> the answer to that is foursome. There you go. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. That's a foursome again. Oh you god, no! Oh, uh, you don't. Never mind. My it's when four people play playing. patty cake together. No, okay. Stop being on the board. Hey, 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 right hey, no, 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 no. If you know who <laughs> framed <laughs> Roger <laughs> Rabbit, if you know who framed <laughs> Roger Rabbit, you will get what I'm saying. Oh my dude, well, if you, course, uh, this if dude, 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 dude speak well, my language. If you do, if you do become literal, it's best to not say this stream. I want, uh, yeah. This dude is speaking my language. I'm gonna see it. Uh, uh, and now we have Tinkerbell in the chat. Okay. Yeah, there's like really <laughs> three Tinkerbells in the chat. I'm surprised you haven't noticed like, any of them. <laughs> I how the fuck? Okay, well, first of all, I was freaking paying attention to something else, but now I see him, and I'm just like, uh, okay. No joke, I think you can almost do a pretty good uh, Roger impression. <laughs> I'm just gonna hold on. I could give you an insta, Jessica. I'm just trying to recite the lines from like Roger Abbott. No, not you, Looney. I know for a fact. Like I know, I know that Alucard is being a freak. But anyways, who are you talking to? Um, Briar. I was that for? I mean, they said like doing a Roger Rabbit impression, and, like, do Jessica. Uh, uh, we're not okay. First of all, no, Briar. Second of all, we're not bringing Jessica Rabbit in here. Uh, no. 
Uh, well, guess what? You can get your booby traps later on. now. Yeah. I'm sorry, I had to. I had to. Well, <laughs> respond to what you said. Yeah. Lord. <laughs> Cal, fucking... you know how to make me laugh. My freaking brain today. My freaking brain. Carter, why are you showing rats? That is a hamster. That's a rat. That's a guinea pig, you That's idiot. Pig. That's a rat. I know right when I say that. That's a guinea pig. Yeah. That's a <laughs> That's a guinea pig. That does not like anything. He does not like hamsters. He doesn't like mice. He doesn't like rats. Uh, actually, that's <laughs> yeah, wrong. I, do, I used to he's, have a... He's just... Shut up. I used to actually have a hamster, and I used to actually take care of guinea pigs when I used to go to daycare <laughs> a long-ass time ago. So, actually, I do like them. I just like making jokes. And Sonic the Hedgehog came out on June 23rd, 1991. Okay, um, most of us. Uh, why did we need the history lesson? We already had another history lesson today with these character descriptions. Or and, and, besides, or and besides, most people who are Sonic fans already know when Sonic came out. Like, that's, not, that's like nothing new. The uh, funny thing is, I never knew when it came out, but that was when I was like younger. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, but I thought like nowadays. Yeah, nowadays it's obvious. Uh, yeah, I wanted to say that out. I, I just wanted to say that like randomly because I saw that I saw that in the chat. I'm just like, okay, thank you. Yeah. I don't know why you put SpongeBob in there too, but cool. <laughs> Anyways, we have 15 <laughs> minutes. Hey, what? Uh, anybody have any type of questions? Go ahead. Can any you final ask question? me any final yeah, questions, folks? Questions. Oh my god! Yeah, any last minute questions? Fine, I says, don't you dare call that a rat. I own a guinea pig. <laughs> 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 it is. Uh, guinea hi, rat. LDX Yon 21. And also, again, I was joking about the rat thing. They're not actually, I don't think of them as actually rats. I just like fucking with people. Xavier. What? You know how you, uh, if I tell you, you're going to be the uh, Sasu VA, VA for, um, for Toon Shadow? That is news to me. What? You said you said you would be the uh, to, the Sasu VA for him. Did I? Remember I saw... Yeah, yeah I sent you, like, um... Sent you, like, a, like, a video of him so you could practice, like, the voice... Oh uh, shit! I fucking forgot, dude. Mm. Uh, okay. <laughs> Wait. It says, "Well, at, well, now as he knows Sydney, so oh my." I I can send you the video again later, and you could uh, track us the voice. I was gonna say if you could do the voice if Ariel was in the chat. <laughs> Wait, it says, I do not need a foursome. That would be a thing I don't want. What the? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, Lilith. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> oh, my fucking. Okay. Okay. Wait, wait. Okay. Hey, uh, do you already go for a foursome thanks to Akihiko? Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Remember Lila says for Akihiko too. I mean Azrael can give oh wait, uh, I should not say that on the stream. Uh yeah, hey, yeah no, 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 let's not say related to Azzy, um out of the stream. Keep, I love how <laughs> you are the first one to open their mouth when I bring that up. <laughs> let's keep it PG to PG thirteen. Because Uka has a horny sense. Because, I do have to keep things PG-13. Yeah, Spider-Man has the spider sense and Uka's the host. Um, maybe, no maybe because he's think. also the artist that decided to add that, so... so uh, he's sorry, to disappoint, uh, yeah. sorry to disappoint, disappoint you, but this channel is not family-friendly. Okay. I said this was PG no, thirteen. Here's, here's the thing. I said go I said go crazy with it and you looked and you took me seriously and added those 
Excuse me, will you give me the option? <laughs> I'm like, okay. Zach, uh, Zach, I said uh, PG-13 because okay, all, we can't take things to hold, R-rated. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Mooney. It's jealous, it, no, they tell us not PG 13 either. Yeah, it has, anyway. it's, it's not, but again, uh, Emily, they can fucking see that on the screen. <laughs> okay, she's saying she doesn't care. Uh, <laughs> she don't care. It's going well, actually. Thank you. It will go. Nobody's. Mm -hmm. It's not like we're complaining about it, but if we are. If we're going to actually point it out, and then the fact that you you were the one who jumped on it immediately. That's the reason why I get because it out. I knew because I knew what you were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> and the hyena started. It was already a hyena here. Yeah, you just be glad. He's just glad that his um <laughs> is here, so we can shrink him down and put put him between our breasts like normal. Not again. Want, 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 me to, want, want me to cut? Want me to come down? Hey! No, 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 no. Just no, 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 Excuse you, Zach, my brother. I don't send for Akihiko. I enjoy this. <laughs> nah, nah, you, nah, you, de nah, you definitely. God. Oh, by the way, hi, Lilith. God dang it, Emily! Come on. <laughs> hi, Lilith, and hi, to... hi, sis. And yet she don't care. This shows up on stream, so yay, we're getting demonetized. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Just but, it. No, here's the thing. I actually do. I actually do monetize these streams. You so, did. Wait, what? I did monetize this. Oh, this we should have said chain. anything we wanted without issue. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna beat your little ass. I'm just kidding. Yeah, wait, what now? Nice guy, buddy. You're you're a very nice guy. Uh, I was three game. Oh, that already came. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta give the opportunity to start making the pic putting the pictures as well. Well, I don't want to do God. the picture. Yeah. yeah. Um, I will say this right now. Let me let me find a fucking picture. Eh, this is just me gonna say one thing. Mm -hmm. That's a I'm, gonna, I'm gonna beat <laughs> everybody. Also, oh. also. Yeah. Also, hello. Which, 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 which kind of which punishment do you want? A bonk or a poop or a bite? A poop is not even a punishment. Okay, hold on, A poop is not. Okay, I'm gonna say this. A poop is not even a punishment. So I don't know why you keep turning people with poops, Gabby. Okay, no, okay. I okay. Was, so I, I thought she was gonna bring out the whips and the fucking chains. Okay. Okay. <laughs> What do you want me to do? Boop or bonk or bite? Pick one. How about, how about, how about you turn around behind yeah, I kick it. I sorry, I go KF I mean, for speed now. You want, you want that a problem? You said what cocaine? You said? Kaya. Okay, oh, I think he's like, guys, cocaine. stop talking. I can't hear Alucard. What do you said? Oh, that's quite kicky, my good friend. He say, he's gonna call, he's gonna call your boy, um, cocaine, dude. Oh, no, no don't you dare. No, no, yeah. No, 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 hang on, oh, man. Oh, cocaine bear? Bad, you, you know what I'm talking about, right? We know you're talking about Kaya. Relax. Oh, Thank you. you well, you, well, you want me ways to, to change those really quick? Um, we finally got a question for Xidier, by the oh. way. Oh lord, what is it? After 17 Have days. You, it's, a, it's, a, it's a rea- finally, god. Fi um, it, basically it's a react question. They, um, Fine Eye asked, have you ever reacted to the Tales That Bond video yet? If not, do you plan on watching it soon? Uh, now that you said that, I'll have to look for it. So... Yeah. That sounds like an interesting- That sounds like an interesting react to suggestion though. Especially because I'm, especially because I'm looking for more reactions for execution and queen and other characters, so 
and Minami so, well, and Exidia really also awesome. needs some stuff along with Exidia and fucking Yuka. <laughs> well, there you go. The, the uh, tales so... that bond. bond. <laughs> you made my you made my cheeks red. Uh, with <laughs> cheeks, no joke. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. Oh <laughs> Her face red, because if you look in the open chat, this is what I did. Jeez! Mm -hmm. oh, I'm gonna bite you now. I'm gonna uh, bite you. Uh, what? Gabby. What? If you even tempt it, you're gonna face consequences. No, please. Uh -oh. <laughs> that close that mouth. Why are you saying that? Oh my god, that sounded you so wrong. You ain't gonna bite <laughs> That's the damn final. All right, Close shut that it. Off around what? That's the question. That I'm <laughs> All right, oh, let me get in this place. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is how we get. get speaking, of, speaking of horny, I'm gonna post this in the open chat. I was finishing this while I. Uh... Who was saying anything about horny? Also, oh, sorry. Also, oh, Brad, 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 the Bible. Uh, by the way, real quick, Ryan said, "Call so, someone. Call it. Someone get Amy Daddy XC. Why? <laughs> Remember, Gabby sent her. <laughs> oh, okay. Hold on, I got her. I got oh her. no! I got, and and she has a new BDSM outfit. No, I'm joking. Also, uh, BDSM. I'm pretty sure you can see the open chat and uh, look what image I found. Oh, yeah, yeah I can see that. Yeah. Hey, friend. Hey, friend. Um. Uh, I'm just gonna. There you go. I'm just gonna snatch that up real quick. Don't mind me. Can't tell the <laughs> We've got another question, by the way. Yeah. Okay, what, hold on. What's the next question? It says, will you be continuing the Dark Inception streams? Yes, actually, I need to. Uh, now that I have Esther's render done, I can actually do it. Wait, who's singing? Uh, that would be it, Gabby. Uh, it's just what you think in a minute ago, don't lie. So, um, so you go to my private chambers? No, I'm joking. Anyway. God damn it! Michael, I just saw what you just said, Makoto. I hate it here. <laughs> well, he wants to smash again. Well, <laughs> I only got one. I only got one thing to. I only got one thing to say about this. Mm. Get a join him? <laughs> no, it could be worse. Can I join? It could be worse. It could be worse. It could be worse. It could be worse. Oh my God, it could be worse. God. Um. God damn. <laughs> I like the Makoto! Ah, uh, shit, fuck it. Zach. Okay, so Zach stole it before me. Great. Anyway. I did it first. I did it first. Fuck that. Nah, 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 nah. You guys are not in my Discord being flustered. Ariel's in my Discord. You get first. Why these two morons are fighting over it? I'm just snatching it up. Thank you. Goodbye. Yeah, well, 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 yeah, yeah, no, 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 an automatic win, like you always do. Anyways. I don't even do that. Um, yes, guys, you do. What do I do guys. now? What? You do it like every time guys, you see a boy. nice pair yes. of boobs. What? Yes. Boy. What? Didn't rust it. Rust it then. Did y'all see what Briar asked me about the when uh, when she like her reply to my um freaking drawing? She uh, asked me if, if she could borrow those clothes. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's why I was like, what the fuck? Oh, hi, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it, do it, Briar. I, I'm working on it. I bet you Briar wants to do it for it. occasional reasoning. Like, um, shall, we call it, just... shall we call Sylvie? Sylvie, can... Can we call him? Sylvie, can, baby, and Pit? Oh, damn, yeah. Pit, too. You get them yeah. Yeah. On. yeah, just Pit though, not Edgelord. 
He gonna get them UGG boots. Anyway. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Maybe that's why she wants the cloak. Also, these are mine. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, both of these are mine, so I'm just gonna snatch these up. Um, technically speaking, I'm just curious. Uh, yeah. I've never really this is the, this is the family males in a nutshell. This is why I always say this. I'm the most mature out of this family. I am I also mature. I don't know what you're talking no, you're about. Not. No, you're not. No, you're not. Hey, who is that you? You have a for being mature in this family. The fuck? I'm the most mature. I'm mature here. What the fuck? Wait. No. No, 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 no. I, I uh, thought I heard Cat, 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 cat those legs for days. Excuse me. <laughs> look look just, at the upper chat. I'm just, hold on. Oh, cat nap. It's yeah, they got that Patrick. <laughs> He's cosplaying as Patrick. <laughs> Wait a minute, that's boot nap for you. <laughs> just look at, I'm looking respectfully. Wait, what the fuck, cat? My boy got the boots anyway. <laughs> I mean, it's a puss and boots. He tried to cosplay as Patrick. Wait, wait a minute, I just realized something. It's puss and boots. These boots are made for walking. You're right. You're saying that means it's already died. You guys are kind of late. Yeah. And these boots yeah. were made for uh, walking. Anyway. Yo, I'm your oh. fearless hero. He says, I am going to do this. Oh my freaking god. Alright, guess I'm gonna do... I guess the next lady that's going to get, get that outfit is Lucy. Not and Lucy, a good friend of everything I think is wonderful. Stand back, I'm not a holy fuck like, the, like everyone in this damn family, so I don't want to hear your bitch ass. <laughs> I am uh, a respect... You're the definition of horny, okay? I don't want to hear it. I uh, am a Do we need to talk about what happened to Wario though. during the streams? Okay, first of all, first of all, okay, okay, no, 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 first of all, that, that's wild. We're not the same person, dumbass. Anyway, with that, we're going to be ending the stream. <laughs> I'm just so rude trying to make you sound like I'm a horny fool like the rest of the stuff. I don't want to hear your bitch ass. Like, I am like, 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 I cannot believe that this is how we're fucking ending the stream. Yeah, yeah, because you, you sit over here being like, uh, you have a holiness too, and I'm like, bitch, hell no! I'm not a holy fuck! I am sitting in a holy tree and dream as well! Everybody else have holy genes in their damn bodies! Uh, I am a freaking girl with good morals! Uh, okay, anyways, <laughs> we're just going to cut this now before Cap Yeah, before we start, like, again. before we start the stream now. And there's a party with twerking Wario in the chat. Okay. No, we're not doing a twerking Wario, but anyways. We're all no, there is. Right, no, there we, is. Hush, <laughs> right now, hush, let me go to it. Yes. Everybody, I, we do apologize that we can get to all your questions, but we will be trying, I will try... To give you guys a, ch an, uh, a chance to actually ask more questions during the VR chat stream that is happening this Saturday. But until then, once again, I will.